Okay, I'm going green again. So OBS is recovering. Um, do you have Luisius banner on yours, Trish? Now you don't even have your um your units. So I don't think reinstalling the game is going to do anything for me. No. So it's this has got to be like a. They are there, but they are invisible. It's too weird. Let's see what happens if I try and trial her character. She's got a trial. She's been added to the Codex now. She wasn't in the Codex before. I wonder if they know. Do they know that the Europe server is scuffed right now? I wanted to be one of the first people to get her. This is so annoying. I mean, uh, wow, maybe I can be like one of the first people on the Europe server to get her. Because they've scuffed the update. So badly. Uh, let's see what happens if I go to trial her. Okay, she's loading in. Yeah, her attacks kind of suck, which you would expect. Time event locked behind 110 story. Oh, do you have to do some, some of the story missions before you can get to, into the event? Yeah, she's going to take a month to kill these. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to now. Now I'm saying, I mean, obviously, it's stupid though. Why would they put her in on her own? Like, this is going to make any heal look crap because, like, they're not meant to kill things. They're supposed to heal them. And they haven't given her anybody to resurrect. You would think they would want to showcase her resurrection ult. So you need a teammate to resurrect first. So this is a bit of a weird trial for her. Let's see her ult animation. You're on EU. I thought, Pika, I thought you were on them. Um... You said you went North American, didn't you? And also, it didn't play a role animation. It didn't play a role animation. Like the close up. Yeah, this game is very broken right now. I'm gonna, gonna give it one last attempt. And if she doesn't show up, I'm gonna I'll tweet at them and just say, uh, do you guys know that uh, Europe server is scuffed right now? And we have no Luisha. I named my command after you. Oh peaks. That might so don't blame me if you lose all the matches. Um that might be a... yeah, that might not have been a wise decision. But I appreciate it anyway. Uh, you can join our, um, I'll check it for you. Oh, thanks, Trish. Um, you can join our alliance, Peaks, now. You told me. By the way, Peaks, honestly, you, you confuse me so much sometimes. So, Tower of Fantasy comes out at 5 p.m. in your country. I checked. I don't know where you were getting 10 a.m. from. 
Uh, and you did tell me also that you went on an NA server because you told me about what your ping speed was and everything. I remember it distinctly. You said the ping was 83 or something for Europe, so you chose North America. And now you're saying you're in Europe, so I just don't know. Why are you lying to me so much? Why do you always lie? Why are you always lying, Peaks? Why are you always lying? Um, it's Captain Pika. Do you want to add me as a friend? Hang on, can I? How do I? Set? Let's see if I can find you, Captain Pika. Oh, I need your friend ID. Uh, can I not just search for a name? No, apparently not. Yeah, uh, either... I don't know if you want to add my friend ID. Or you want to post yours in chat. But mine is... There it is, UID. Uh, same goes for anybody else who wants to add me. Uh, I think it's probably that one you need. 675905. See what, let's type it in here. 675905777. Yep, yeah, no Louisiana banner whatsoever. But I think it's also kind of strange because it didn't show her role animation in the trial. And then it's just a weird trial to do anyway for a healer that can resurrect to just put her in on her own. Like, they're not doing a very good job of selling her. Um, so what is the what is the does the Twitter page say anything? It kicked me off before I could look. If I do a oh, I thought that was why did I think that was the did her banner show up for you no no still not there I'm about to tweet at them Can I attach an image to reply? Yeah. Uh, maintenance has ended and server is available. You can now log into the game. Currently some text are displayed in Chinese that is a known issue and it will be fixed today with a hot fix. Uh, I gave up my friend ID to you, Captain. Where did you send that? On the Twitch. chat. Oh, there it is. Yeah, thanks.
Oh my God, what an absolute shambles. This has been nothing but a shambles. I waited so long. We have found a problem that requires urgent maintenance, expected to last half an hour. Is that the problem I just told you about? <laughs> expected to the end at 11 UTC, sorry for the inconvenience. <laughs> yeah, I think you may have found a, a, a quite a few problems. All right, so the uh, the waiting continues. Uh, so let's reset this. So let's make yet another. This is my third countdown timer for Louisia. <laughs> Expected in another half an hour. Okay, eleven. New timer, please, for eleven. Oh no, twelve. It'll be. Uh, twelve p.m. Uh, 358 days. Let's hope it's not another 358 days. Uh, 9th of August. That says one. Why does it say one hour 20 minutes? What? It's not one hour 20 minutes. Where are we talking about? Thank you. This this thing is absolutely dreadful. Okay, so let's get that into our countdown. And we're back to winning. This is my third countdown for Louisia. This is my third countdown. Okay, the first one was kind of on me. Because I didn't realise there was server ma maintenance scheduled. And I stayed up and everything. It was so annoying. But this one... This is something else. Uh, this is like when a game company makes a roadmap to the roadmap, <laughs> and I uh, staring at their bank account and not see anyone. Bye. I know, yeah. <laughs> they probably sat there, probably sat there, like with their glasses of champagne and stuff, which they do every time the banner launches. Right, let's see how many suckers we reeled in this time. Hmm, something may be wrong, Captain. What do you mean? There's no money coming into the account. What? Luisia delayed 30 minutes. Oh my god. Okay, let's get back to bloody Unity then. Something that sort of works. Uh, yeah, I still don't know why these cores aren't working properly. That's kind of weird. Nothing works. It's a day of broken everything. Um... Yeah, I wonder, so we did it as a new colour 32. Yeah, let's try 30F, 30F, 30F. I wonder if it's that, because I feel like that should be 255. But Unity themselves gave an example of 1F, which I assume would be 0 to 1 alpha. I don't know, I suppose it could work either way. But that doesn't seem to want to change it to the right colour. Yeah, also, we that's another good point, Trish. Yeah, we didn't get compensation at email either. I think we might get some extra compensation, to be honest. Yeah, okay, so that's completely scuffed. Why is that not working properly? That's not the right shade of yellow, and that's supposed to be grey.
Did you know the new girl is only a first grader? She is seventh grader, it says on edgy info. She's not real. She's not an anything grader. She's a bunch of pixels. Um, she Look, all I care about is she resurrects people, restores their full health, and makes them invincible for one round. That's all I need to know. I don't care about anything else. <laughs> but yeah, no, I am... Um, so I don't, I don't know. I don't really pay too much attention to the lore in this game because it's it's kind of ridiculous anyway, right? Um, but yeah, if it says seventh grader on a thing, then I guess she's meant to be a seventh grader. I don't even know what graders are. We don't really have grades like that over here, so I don't really know what that means. Um, okay, for that one, I should have said new color. So that was my bad there. If I say that's new color. Wait, does that fix the gray issue? Wait, what? Oh, it's because I said new, new color. Okay. Try that. Uh, she looks like Alice's older sister. Yeah, she probably, she, she, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's still not working properly. What is going on with Unity? Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try restarting Unity because it's been running for a while. Maybe it just needs to restart. All right. Uh, they also have two other five stars added to the index. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. They have three of the five stars added to the index. Oh, who are those? Uh, I'm not unfriended my archery TikTok. And I'm not unfriending my archery TikTok until I upload my next TikTok. Uh, Pavonis and Jesse, I'm guessing. Yeah, well, they're certainly upcoming characters, aren't they? I don't know if Pavonis was in there already, was she? Because I know Cream was in there way before she released. Cream's been there since pretty much day one, I think, in the, in the Codex at least. And she even had a trial, because I remember trialing her way before a banner came out. Right, let's see if that fixed it. No, it's still doing the same weird thing. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hmm. I don't know why that's doing that. That's very odd. Uh, no, it's not Cream. She's been in there for a while. No, I'm, what I'm saying is Cream... That's what I'm saying. Cream was there. I'm just saying Cream was there way before a banner was. Because we're talking about characters that don't have banners right now, aren't we? Uh, but Luisha only just appeared today, basically. Luisha, because I've been... Obviously, because I've been wanting Luisha. Uh, I've been watching to see if she was in the Codex, but she wasn't until today. Until this update. Uh, where is my cord? Uh, it's going to be on here. Go on, I select. Okay, what I could do is I could try using the hex value. So I have a little trick here. Here we go. For converting a hex value into a color. Let's see if this works. So what we'll do is we will say, don't need that anymore. Uh, try pass HTML string, then we need to give it a HTML string here. So I will grab the hex for that color do, 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 on the hair icons, which is this right here. There it is. Add a hash to it. Uh, and out will be a variable called set color. So we will declare a new color variable. Uh, let me just check my original one. Did I use a standard color variable? Yeah, color set color. Okay. So color. Let's 
what the American word just to confuse me. Um, okay, and then we want to say, so it wasn't eye color to this one. So we want image background color equals set color. All right, let's see if that does a better job. I don't know why it's been so weird with colors. It's kind of strange. I've never seen it do that before. Yeah, okay, it's doing the right color now. But why the hell wasn't it doing it with RGB values? That's weird. Yeah, that is weird. Okay, so I can fix my gray now. Uh, so I'll just do, I don't know. Let's pick a color. Let's go to our palette. Let's go with darker. Unselected could be that maybe. That looks pretty good. So we want 29, 29, 29. I want to put that back to where it was. I've got 29, 29, 29. Uh, let me just put a comment in there so I don't lose that. There we go. And we'll grab this code here and use it for this one. So I want color set color. This time it's 29, 29, 29. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why it's being weird. But this seems to fix it. Um, Pavonis, Jesse, those are the two, and there's only two. Uh, it recommended me the American server this time. I wonder why the game sends me to Facebook. That just seems odd. Yeah, I noticed that earlier. Yeah, I don't know. They want to. They seem to want to promote their Facebook for some weird reason. Uh, and they they've added a four star bonbon. Oh, the four star bon bonbon's always been there. Yeah, there's always been a four star bonbon. Uh, you can get it from military badge exchange. There we go. So now if we hover our mouse, we get the uh, the the correct color. And when it's not hovered, we get the uh, gray color. Right, now I just need to make the checkboxes invisible if it is not the currently selected hairstyle. So, uh, on create character, I have a field that I made called hairstyle integer. Here we go. So we want to be reading from this. So, um. I should probably put this on void start. So we'll do a void start. So I want to grab that component on create character. Right, we are running miles away. Uh, I could just do a game object dot find. Let's just do game object dot find. So we want to create character uh, dot get components, which I called uh, CC data, have to create a data dot, and we are looking at hairstyle, I think. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll declare an integer, which we will say is that dot hairstyle. There we go. Uh, oh, I didn't give it a name, and uh, hairstyles. <laughs> All right, so now we have the hairstyle integer. So as it instantiates, I will say if hairstyle is zero, then, okay, we need to link these now. So we need the checkboxes, so hair checks. Actually, I could do this dynamically. You know, I can, can be asked. I'll just, no, I won't do it dynamically because can't be bothered. Let me just keep checking that periodically, see if it's ready. Uh, are you going to limit your character creator to females only? No, no, I'm just doing the females first because they're more exciting. Um, basically. No, I have a male character already set. It's just I, I can only do one thing at a time, so I'm doing the female uh, character creator first. But yeah, no, there's male and female already. There is, well, splish and splash, I've called them. So if you're a splish, then you have boobage. And if you're a splash, uh, you have molecular structures. All right, so we will have, we'll just hard link these for now. So I want to hard link the public image components. 
of the checkboxes. So we will do check option, and then we want from zero. Uh, what did I call these in the inspector? I started at one hair check. So we'll do check check options at one, two, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I should do this dynamically, really, but I can't be bothered. I just want to get this working for now. And to be fair, there's only going to be so many. I don't even know if I'm going to add any more default hairstyles. So I'll probably just leave them as these eight, because I think eight's more than enough for default options. Because you will be able to unlock new stuff for your character, but that's through gameplay. So this is like new character creation. So I don't want to give too many options, because then there's no incentive to play and get unlock new stuff. So I'll probably just stick with that. So if we are doing hairstyle one, then basically we want to say check option one dot color. Oh, we need to do it again, don't we? Shit, we do it as that. Bah, that's so annoying. Okay, what I could do then, how about this? I will do this, because this is a lot easier. I'm going to make two of these. I'm going to call one invisible and one visible. So we'll do set invisible and we will do set visible. Nice. And we will set that to set invisible and that one to set visible. Now I wouldn't, you wouldn't normally do it this way, but I'm having to do it this way because of the weird way I've set this off. Uh, you would normally just disable the component, but for some reason when I disable the image, on the checkbox component, box component, this on parent enter thing breaks. It's nothing to do with Unity's new input system, so I'm having to do it this weird ass way. There probably are better ways of doing it, but if it works, I'm not gonna complain, as long as it works. So we need um, hex values for visible and invisible. So we'll use our checkbox. Visible is FFFF, -F -F -F, I should have realized. Yeah, okay. So visible is that one's invisible. So we want this one visible F F F F. So yeah, I don't do that. So really, I don't actually do anything here, which is kind of weird, because all I'm really doing is I'm just setting the value to the color value. So I can actually just stick those up there. Yeah. Ah. Get up there. No. There. Uh, okay. Um, ba, 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 ba. And then we need invisible, which I assume is going to be zero, zero, zero. Wait a minute. Hexadecimal doesn't, uh, doesn't take alpha, new, alpha channeling in the account. It's the same hex value. Shit. So hex only affects the color and not the alpha. So how am I going to do this then? I might have to use an animator. Yeah, I'm going to, have to use an animator, I think. Okay, I'll use an animator. That way I can get around it. Okay, change of plans. So we want an animator on here. Um, and I need to make a new animation controller, which I will call check visibility. All right, we'll stick that on our hair checks. No, we can't do that. We can, but that wouldn't make sense. Okay, I need to put it on my uh, child component. So let's actually just grab that. Get my check visibility and draw up that onto all of these objects. Yeah. Why won't it let me put this on there? Come on, Unity. Unity doesn't want to let me end. Why doesn't Unity want to let me end? Why are you being so naughty? Just stick an animator on there, you. Thank you. Okay. Now we can grab a check visibility. I didn't mean to click that. Okay, it's fine. Shit. 
No, there it is. Ah, there. Check visibility. Yes, got it. Okay, now we have animation components on this. It's going to be the same animator for every object, so it doesn't really matter. So to create an animation clip, clip, click, cre cre create. Here is where we will set. Um, is it going to do it by name? It shouldn't matter if it does. So I'm just going to call it set visible. And then we'll do set invisible. So what we need to do is we need to grab this, grab that, make sure that puts a key in, which it did. The only thing is it's implicitly referring to this, but I don't think that'll matter. Hopefully, hopefully it won't. I don't think it'll matter. All right, and then I need to make a new animation called set invisible. All right, so set invisible, we want to record that alpha channel at that. Okay, put a key in, brilliant. So now if we play set invisible, it makes the checkbox disappear. If we play set visible, the checkbox appears. Yay! Okay, so we can use that to do this. So we don't need any of this. Where we kind of do. So we still need to inherit the hairstyle. So there's the inherit inheritance of the hairstyle. Instead, now we need to access the animator component for each one of these checkboxes. So instead of declaring an image, we are really declaring an animator. Okay, that's fine. We'll just call it that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How long has she got? Eight minutes. Two, three, four, five, six, eight. Beautiful. All right, now we need to hard link those. Where is my anime? No, I'm not my animation, my script. There it is. Isn't it? Wait, where is my script? Hair select. It's on here. Where the hell did I put the script? <laughs> it should be on. I should be on each one of these. Oh, I've got to be careful now then. Wait a minute. Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I've set this up as a child script, but I'm also doing parent controls on it, which is a bit risky. It just means it's going to run the same code over and over again, which is a bit silly of me, but eh, rather than make a new script, it should be... F I can make a new script if I need to. I'm just kind of bothered. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so now instead what we can say is if hairstyle is zero, then... What did we call these? Check option one dot play set visible. Okay, on check option one, and then the others want to be set to set invisible. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then similarly, we want to do the same thing for hairstyle one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is why I should really be programming this dynamically, but you know, like I said, it's, it's going to be eight set options anyway, so it's really not. Oh shit, these also set visible as well. Okay, let's just undo that. The reason why it's going to be easier, what I should have done is set all these to set invisible. The reason why is I, then I only have to change one in each. I don't know. I got a thing. How long she got? Five minutes. So I'll re reword visible to invisible. Boop. <laughs> Helps if I spell it right. Ah, oh, why? Why do I do these things? 
Okay. Right, there we go. Now everything says set invisible. That's perfect because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's easier to just go, okay, option seven. This one is the only one that wants to be visible. So we just do that. Option six. This one is the only one that wants to be invisible. So we do that. Option five. This one is the only one that wants to be invisible. So we do that. Option four. Oh, isn't game development the most exciting thing you've ever seen? Uh, yeah, but it's great. It's so rewarding when you actually see it all come together. Three. Uh, we're always one ahead, aren't we? So four should be five. Yeah, so three should be four, which is that one. We'll soon know if it's working or not. Uh, two should be three, which is that one. Uh, one should be two, which is that one. And zero should be one, which is that one. Okay, test it. Uh, <laughs> it did it the wrong way around. Oh, I love it. It did the opposite of what I wanted it to. So it's saying all of these are currently selected and that one's not. Okay, how did I get that the wrong way around? Did I get my animations wrong? Visible, that is visible. Invisible, and that, and then it disappears. So how is that wrong? We set them all to invisible, unless it's the currently selected option. What, I don't actually know why that's the opposite of what it should be. What? I mean, we can easily fix it. We could just change the animations, but the animations are correct, so I'm just confused. Why is it playing the opposite? That doesn't make sense. I mean, it's obviously not playing the opposite, but why is it appearing to be the opposite? Let me just double check that again. They all have animators. Yes. They all have the controller set visibility, which has two animations on it. We have set visible. Uh, which object am I on right now? Okay, let's have a look at option one. When I play set visible, the checkbox is there. When I play set invisible, the checkbox disappears. Like this is set up correctly. Why is it doing the opposite? Set visible. To show that the checkbox is visible. Otherwise the checkbox is set to invisible. What? I don't know why it's doing the opposite. That is so strange. Okay, well it is. Okay, one minute, 50 seconds. Is it ready? Is she, is she up? That's so weird. Less than three minutes to go. She might actually be up. We'll get another message. We have found another massive problem, which we will need to address. Also, please accept another apology. That's all right. I can't even make checkboxes short properly in my game. You guys are trying my patience. I guess this massive problem that they found was even more massive than they originally anticipated. It's a bit like my massive problem here where the checkboxes are showing the wrong way around. Why is that happening though? I genuinely can't understand why that's happening. Um. So we go and grab the hairstyle option from CC data. And then we set these animations accordingly. Did we hard link them correctly? Oh, wait a minute. I bet it's because I'm running the code on multiple things. I bet that's why. But why would that make any difference? That still shouldn't matter because it should be running the code in the same way on each one. Okay, well, let's do a test. 
Let's change our currently selected hairstyle to hairstyle number two, which is actually this one. Let's see if it turns that one off and the other one's on. No, so it's not, it's not doing, it's not doing the opposite. It's just clearly not working. <laughs> all right. I think I know why. It's because, ah, they're all, they're all linking to checkboxes one's animator. Oh, this is going to be painstaking. Okay. I can, can't I just let me, I like all of those. Checkbox one, hair check one. Checkbox two, hair check two. Checkbox three, hair check three. Checkbox four, four, five, five, six, six. She's supposed to be live right now. Seven. She was supposed to be live. She was supposed to be live earlier. All right. Let me just test that. Yay! Currently selected hairstyle is one. Yes! Wait, is it supposed to be one or did I change it back? Or is it supposed to be three now? No, it is supposed to be one. Okay, so we set it to two and now number three should show as game work. Yes, three shows as a selected hairstyle. We fixed it! And my game works as well. Isn't that, what a glorious moment for everybody. So let's, let's go get her. Thank you, Pika, for reminding me. All right, let's see if it's true. I don't. I won't believe it till I see it. We have an email. Oh, this will be fun. Lots of compensation. Well, I didn't need to thank you. I have saved. Thank you so much. But thank you for the four hundred. Crystals anyway. Well, we're supposed to get some of those for maintenance anyway. I think we got a couple of extra because they screwed up you server so badly. I wonder who got a slapped wrist or who got fired for that. Alright, I don't need these, but I'll just get rid of the red thing anyway. So finally, the moment has come, has it? It has! Oh my god, finally! The moment is here, Luisia. I thought you would never show up. Can you please show up early now with the polls since we had to wait so long just for you to actually show up today? Alright, let's get let's get going. Here we have three four stars. Chicken girl. KFC chicken girl. All these. Okay, let me just keep an eye on my AGs. Yeah, I should probably skill link as I'm going along, I would imagine. Well, 184, we can do another 10 pull before I need to worry about that. So it looks like we can do like two 10 pulls at a time, maybe. I need to worry about that. Gold! Is this it on the 20th pull? Did we get her within 20 pulls? Did we get her within 20 pulls? Come on, move on to the next one. Did we get her? Within 20 pulls. Can you imagine? But then look at all those savings I made. Like, yeah, imagine though, within 20 pulls. Is it? Imagine within 20 pulls. Oh, it's another serious. <laughs> serious. I'm going to have you at like R6. Another serious. Oh, this is the ultimate serious account. Are you ready? Check this out. My serious is now at R5, apparently. Is she locked? She's probably locked, isn't she? Is she locked? She is locked. God damn it! Serious? Why are you locked? Probably because you're a five star. All right, let's go and fix that. So let's go and get our extra serious. She's going to be fully refined by the end of this pulling session, isn't she? I only need one more copy and I've got a fully refined. Serious? Would you like to eat a clone of yourself, please? Open wide. Bang. Thank you. 
Okay, she's now rank five. It's kind of nuts. Um, okay, now we need to clean this up because I don't have room otherwise. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Get rid of roll call. Just kidding. I filled up with cat balls because I wanted to level her up immediately. Okay, we can get rid of you. To be honest, I think anything that's not locked, we can probably just get rid of. I'll keep Timmy because Timmy might be um, good to use for the uh, speed cleave. Okay, so we can get rid of those. Okay, how many have we got now? 183. So we can do. Can we do another three more? Get rid of. Yeah, one, two, three. Now we can do 20 pulls. Okay, now we can do 20 pulls without being interrupted. Let's go back. I thought thought that was going to be her within 20 pulls. That would have been so fun. But another series, I'll take that. All right, Loisha. No, 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 not gonna happen. Okay, we got we got garbage. Is that going to be another 10 pull? Yeah, it is. Okay. And another two. Four stars. Uh, do you need friend ID again? Yes, please, please. Uh, 100 shot of a 10 ball. Uh, you were. Yeah, I got her. I got nothing, Chan. Oh, did you not get anything? Yelling for a yellow star. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, who can I delete? KFC, chicken girl, definitely. Right. Ah, here, yeah, nice in this thing. I knew this was going to be a problem. Right, where's my original? Do I have one copy? Do I even care though? Yeah, okay, I've got a locked copy of Ivy, so we can get rid of Ivy. Wish it would just group them together by character, that would be so much better. Don't know if I want to refine Kathy, probably not. Okay, we definitely want to get rid of the three stars. I think I want to keep my brother, so we'll get rid of the extra copies of Blue, Winnie, Caroline, Rhea, Royce, Nico. We'll keep the Timmies. I don't care about Kamachi and I don't care about Ivy. Okay, so that gives me 187. It's going to get bold, it's going to get really out of hand very quickly, isn't it? Alright, I can do another tempo, and then I'm not going to have any room in my thing. Oh, another gold! Another gold! Another gold. Is it another serious? Probably not serious. Who is it? Is it going to be Luisha? Early? Oh! oh early! What is that? 30 pulls? Was that within 30 pulls? 40 pulls? Something like that? No way! Super early! Yes! So I should probably just save, given how early she came. Like, there's no point in, um... Greetings, my name is Luis. Oh, Luisia. Okay, is that a spelling error? Because it says Luisia on your big name thing. Uh, I was reading that, thank you. Alright, we got her nice and early. I've got 20 red pulls left, and look at all these crystals, that's nuts. Alright, but we can save those for another character, so that's good. Um, Unbelievable how early she came. Luisia! Development pack! Mate, I have got a set. Look, mate, thank you so much for advertising that to me. But look, let me just show you how ready for Luisa I was. All right. Uh, we want to change this to Luisa. Where is she? Where is she? There she is. Oh, Luisa, I have presents for you. Lots and lots of presents. It's 40. 45. Okay, eat those. I wouldn't pay that, Dad says, Well, the thing is, you don't need to, do you? Okay, this should get her all the way to 50. Yeah, I way over farmed these. Way over farmed these. Can we get away with the lesser ones? Yes. What about the green ones now? And I have robots ready for her as well. So that gets her to 50. One, two, three, four, five. 
and let's keep going. Right, that's 57. All right, 58, 59. Uh, one of those will do. And I've got loads of balls left over as well. Welcome to level 60, Luisia. Excellent. I even have a set for you. Would you like the heel tag set? I think you would. There you go, there's some gear for you. You can have that. Uh, and your technology is all ready to go as well. So let's give you that. Okay, let's give you those. Excellent, let's give you these. Excellent. Let's give you these. Oh, this is nice to pre-farm. This is nice. This feels good. Let's give you these. And let's get you all the way to technology level 6. Alright, I even have some chips for you as well. So we want to give you this. Okay, let's use skill 1. Give you this. Uh, how much does this one cost out of curiosity? Because this one resets the cooldown. Okay, it's 7 chips. I was wondering how many that would be. We'll hold off on that one for now. Given how early she came, I might just, uh, well, I'll, I'll at least get the crystal, the chips from the crystals. Because I've got, like, I've got so many crystals now, it's nuts. I can't believe how early she dropped. Okay, do I want to go damage? Let's see. Well, that's only one chip. Damage 5%. These are all one chips. Holy shit. I've got three, so I can do another one of these. Another one of these. Get off my screen. Okay, and then we can either go with healing 5% on our S2 or healing 10% on our S1. That sounds like more useful. Does that one have a cooldown? All right, so we've got her at 4, 3, and that's only got one upgrade on it anyway, so I'm saving that one. That's going to reduce the cooldown. <sighs> wow. Time to rage. Spend. I want a damn character too. <laughs> I wouldn't fit. Uh, it's 1800 to 10 for. Yeah, it is. It is 1800 temple. I can't believe how early she came. Right. Is that your friend code? Pika, let's get you added. So. I just tip that. So I go to. How do I do friends? Friend. Search. Find Pika. Yeah, I hope you're going to join our alliance because we actually need somebody else <laughs> so we can do the full. Alright, and then what do I press this one, don't I? There we go, I sent you a friend request. Alright, so let's take her into our very first battle, which is, we'll just do coin collections for now. I don't think we're really going to get to see what she does just doing coin collections. But let's just see her anywhere. She's ready! I can't believe I have so many wishes left and so many crystals left. This is nuts. This is nuts. See, I knew it was meant to be. It was meant to be. And we got serious at another refinement. That was perfect, actually. Because I could have got a Cindy or something that I would have hated. So another refinement on our insane serious. She's almost max constellation now. That's nuts. That is nuts. <laughs> yeah, Louise doesn't need to do any healing right now. She doesn't need to do any healing right now. Okay, so maybe I should take her into um the the raid or something. I don't want to be disappointed. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah, we need to give her some cupcakes. She hasn't got any. Uh, friendship levels, and we need to put her on our ship. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, let's do this, let's do this. So if I go to my fleet, collect everything. Lovely, go to my mothership. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to do this. I need to put her on the ship. Now let's see, where do we think we should put her? Where would Luisa live? In the cafe? In the gym? I don't think she'd be in the gym. She could be in the atelier. 
Uh, she could be having a hot tub, or she could be in the bedroom. Okay. I might just stick her in here, in the lobby. Yeah, I'll stick her in the lobby, I think. Uh, okay, so settings. I need to add to... Oh, there's nobody in the cafeteria? What? Oh, I could put her in the cafeteria because there's nobody in it. Why is there nobody in the cafeteria? That's kind of weird. Okay, display. So Luisa should now be in the atelier, which I got set to the atelier. I could change that back to... There's no longer riser event. How do I change that to... How do I change that to normal cafe? I don't know how to do that. Is it not settings? Is it warehouse? Aha, it's warehouse. Okay, so we that one's... Do you want to replace the confirm? Currently under construction. Oh, there we go. There she is. She's in the cafe. Excellent. So we can give her some cupcakes. Oh, I've only got four cu cupcakes. We need to get some more cupcakes. Okay, there's your first cupcake. I need to do this once a day anyway. And then we'll give you the ah interaction. Ta da! Excellent. Alright, so that takes our boxes for the day, and now she's in the ship. Now he's got more crystals. Okay, I've got nuts amounts of crystals right now. Uh, so I might as well just like go and get like, let's see, regular supply. I need to get this. I can only get one a month, but I might as well get it. Um, I don't really need anything. What is this recast clockwork? What's this do? Material for adjusting gear's attribute status. It's new. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they gave us one of these as a uh, compensation. Interesting. So that I think that might reset attribute rolls or something. In the sounds of it. So that's interesting. Okay. Um. Where do we want to take her? Should I just go straight into um? Like this. Actually, this would be a good warm-up if I take her in a mutation waypoint. So it looks like this is reset. Yeah, this would be a good uh, this would be a good place to start, I think. Right, why have I got okay. uh got it just I just got support. She is hot melt type. Uh, you can do cut a bow. Uh, yeah, I can do cat orb bottle. The only problem is I don't need I don't need any more cat orbs. I got way too many cat orbs. Okay, we haven't seen her do anything yet. She hasn't needed to, but she should do in here. She might need to do some stuff in here. So she can't be as bad as lost. Oh, that wasn't bad. I don't know. What, what, what it, do? it was an AoE attack. Seems to be doing alright. Um, you can do cat or battle, please. Ooh, it's new. Oh, it's a new one. So you don't mean farming cat orbs? Oh, okay. I will, yeah, I'll look at that. I want to see Luisha's ult, but no one's no one's hurt enough for it to activate yet. I can't believe I'm really got her. That is so great. She's doing decent. She's doing about the same as Hearing was doing. I think maybe a little bit more actually. But she's not. A, she's not a DPS unit anyway, so it's not like I need her to do um, huge damage. It's gonna take a while to see how good she is because she's a healer, right? Okay, right. Kigari needs a heal right now. Okay, let's see if she heals. Oh, she just stands there like a lemon. No, he. Wait, what did she do? Why didn't you use your heal on Kigari? Wait, what are you set to right now? Okay, 
She'll only do that when there are fewer than three allied units. Yeah, okay, let's change that. I suppose she knows she can bring people back from the dead, right? So... Okay, so she won't act like a normal healer unless you set her to. So that's interesting. It's based on the number of enemies. Okay, so cat or battle, what is is this in the event? We unlock someone here. Just some coinage. Um Imagine not getting any five stars and 180 poles. Um, you can do cut up battle, please. Ooh, it's new battle tab. Okay, so let's see. Battle tab. Oh, there it is. Off road racing. What the hell? What? Look at all the money I've got as well. I've fully upgraded her and I've still got 1.5 million coins. Uh, okay. Go to battle. What? Squad 51. What is this? Change name. What is this? Enter a new name for the squad. Uh... Where are my units? No, because I got. Why would I do that? It won't let me. Why would I play this new game mode when I can't play with my new toy? I wouldn't. Why would I ever do that? Why are they locked out anywhere? Locked? Wait a minute, does it want me to... Or... I don't understand what is happening. Okay, let's see what this is. I don't understand. Wait, why is she locked? What does this do? Uh, I got two five stars in one ten pole. Oh my god, did you really peeks? Uh, you can't use her there, it's faction based. You have to wait two more days to be able to use her. Um Yeah, I'm confused because it also won't let me use Ginger or Kagari. Faction based. Oh, so it's like So we can have Herein and Sirius. Yeah, this is not a good mod for me though because I literally only have five now characters that I even have leveled. I don't have anybody else leveled or geared or anything. So if I can't use my normal units, I'm going to suck at it. Because nobody else is built. Uh, I mean, I can try her. At least I still even have. Yeah, I don't think this is going to go well. Because nobody else is built on my account, you know, you know that, you know that. This just looks like um, the lava one, mutation waypoint, or whatever it is, lava rift. Yep, there's one of my unbuilt units dead. Uh, you can only use green units t uh, now. Tomorrow's blue and the next day is red. Oh, so it's color based. Not Luisa though. So who did you get then, Peaks? Out of curiosity. Uh, is Hiren wearing her gear right now? She's probably wearing her speed gear, isn't she? 
Yeah, I've got a revenge and everything to do though, haven't I? So there's so much to do. Uh, Shin and Quinn. Yeah. Oh, well, congrats on your new five stars. Um, but now that I've got so many resources left, I guess I can obviously start building new uh, characters and stuff. For the characters. I mean, given how many wishes I've got left, I'm wondering if I should actually go for another copy of Hearing. Because she's the only one I don't have another constellation. I mean, I'd rather have another constellation on Luisia, but I'm almost ready to get a Bonbon bon XL anyway, so I can just use a Bonbon bon XL on her. Um, plus, her constellations don't give that much anywhere, Luisia's. She gives, like, status resistance to everybody. And she gets a little bit more HP herself. So, getting extra copies of Luisia doesn't do a whole lot for her anywhere, to be honest. So, I think I probably am just better off saving wishes. <laughs> it's just that like, I was really looking forward to just wailing out. Um, I mean, hey, I'm not complaining, I got her early right. But I was actually kind of looking forward to whirling out, and it was like, oh, actually, she's here already. Uh, like I say, I shouldn't really complain, which I'm not. It's just... <laughs> I just wasn't expecting her to come that early. Uh, oh, Shin is Shinobu. Yeah, I wondered who Shin was. Who did you get on your infinite rerolls then, Pika? Who did you choose? I'm surprised Claudia is still alive. Because she's literally not wearing any gear right now. Trust you, Trish. You want me to play this bloody game mod that doesn't let me play with my new toy. Okay, Sirius has got um, prosthetic projection right now. She's in trouble. Does this thing ever die? What is happening? No, no health meter is moving at all. Am I misunderstanding something? Like, it's not going anywhere, it's stuck at 88%. What? But that's... what? That's got its own health bar, so which one's the boss then? What is even happening in this? 88%? Who's 88%? Is there an invisible... is it this stupid idiot at the back who's leaking green goo? Is he at 88%? He just keeps recharging... what the hell is happening? He just keeps recharging his health bar? Is there a point to this? Am I just collecting points or something? You need to change your target to the boss. So this whole time... Should I just restart then? Because obviously I've just been wasting all of my power, haven't I? She's literally not wearing any gear, so this shouldn't do a lot of damage. I don't think she's a particularly impressive unit to be with.
All right, well that was easy once we actually fought the boss directly. Yeah, but normally you can kill the ads and then you go onto the boss, but for whatever reason the ads just keep respawning. Yeah, I wasn't really paying that much attention. I'm still very distracted, very tired. I have like four hours sleep. And yeah, kind of a little bit all over the place right now. Uh, another thing I need to do is I need to add Alicia, because I've saved the slot for her this whole time. There we go. And now, now we're looking good. I might even change, can I change my background? Uh, uh, not that. How do I change this one? How do I change? Oh, is it? That's just the avatar, though, isn't it? Let's just go all Luisha for now, just to like, you know, flex the fact that we've got it. Where is Luisha's icon? Here? Jeez. Oh, here we go. So icon frame. Here it is. Uh. Yeah, we can stick to that. We can keep the mutation waypoint. That's me. Bottom panel background. How do I change? Oh, there. She changes with the other. She changes with that. Okay. I see. There we go. Now we're a proper, proper Louisia advert. Um. Okay. Yeah. Um. I've, obviously, I'm not excited for that game mode right now because I can only use green units. So I will. Do it, but I just I want obviously want to see Luisa in action. Wait so long. Um, so let's just keep going with mutation waypoint. I think for a bit because I just want to see what she does as a healer. Also, I noticed there's some options here I need to change. Right. So if I go in here, at the moment she's set to only heal and use her ultimate. When there are fewer than three allied targets. So she's only gonna She's only gonna do a full heal and or resurrection when we're down to two allies. I suppose that means only when someone has fallen. But I can set a when there's an allied target for lower than 60% HP. 30% I don't know because I'm going to have to try her in different settings. I'm going to go for lower than 30% HP. Because even though I can resurrect somebody, I don't feel like it's a good idea to rely on that too much. Yeah, I don't know actually. I can see why you might want to set that way, but at the same time. Seems a bit weird waiting for somebody to fall before you like resurrect them. Uh, haven't used up the gold card yet. Oh, so you haven't done your infinite repulse yet? Um, well, I think Ginger, who is this one here, uh, seems to unanimously be everyone's top choice, but obviously it's up to you. Um, what I will say about her though is she's not very good in PvP, but she is really good at PvE. So she's good against like bosses that she's strong against. But she's she's not great at PvP. But then again, I don't know if there is a standard unit that's particularly good in PvP. Uh, so I wanted to say why don't you try her out on the um, Unicorn Center? Um yeah, well, I need to. I need to do these anywhere. So I'll see. I know these get these get quite strong. Oh, actually, someone's fallen already. Wait, so is she gonna do it? Oh, what? Someone's fallen. What is she doing? Right, I don't understand. Oh, I suppose she's only gonna. Oh, yeah, that's why she's a bit weird on autopilot then, because I set her. Because she could have brought Sirius back, but I've got a set so that she'll only use it when somebody's HP is 30% or less. But I would have thought that saying that somebody's HP is 30% or less would also include if somebody has fallen, but I don't think it does. 
So I don't like the way our autopilot works because... See, to me, yes, Sirius's HP is less than 30% because she's freaking dead. But apparently her autopilot doesn't count that because she's dead. That makes sense? Ah, uh, yeah, I don't like the way our autopilot works. Right, can I even use... Let's see, what have we got? I want to see you do it. Is she frozen or something right now so she can't use skills? Oh, you just let her try her out. Yeah, she's, she's skipping a gauze, then like fucked her up or something. Seriously? You just cannot let me have fun, can you, video game? You really can't. All you want to do is give me bullshit speed three tactics. Right, finally she gets to use a skill. Okay, let's see her do it. So she should be able to bring back Sirius right now. The problem is, it's taken so freaking long to get here that she's now in danger of dying herself. Gagari's not looking so bloody good, and even Ginger could, could use a bit of a heal. But anyway, let's just see it. Yeah, so she's going to bring back Sirius. Oh, that was... Does she not have an old animation? Is that really all you get? I expected it to be so much more showy than that. It's just like, it was almost like turning the light switch on. That was a little bit... Disappointing, I'm not going to lie. Is it like... Effect-wise, I mean. Okay, now everyone's nearly dead. Um... It doesn't matter because we've won. Yeah, we've definitely won, but... Yeah, she's going to take some getting used to it. Uh, how did that not kill her? Looks like she's stunned. Yeah, I think she was stunned, to be honest. Just my luck. Uh, on my old account, I re-roll until I got Ginger, Grace, and Walker. Uh, wow, her voice sounds like... Isn't that the same voice actress who does Morris? That sounded like Morris's voice. Wasn't that Morris's voice line? I swear that was Morris's vo victory voice line. Or am I, am I losing my mind? I swear that was Morris's victory voice line that just played. Uh, <laughs> Destine... From E7 is better. I don't know. I've never played Epic 7. Um. Is that who she's ripped off from, is it? It would appear. I mean, uh, creatively inspired by. Uh, okay, so I'm not sure. So maybe her default setting was a better idea. Because at least then she'll resurrect people who have fallen. No, she's supposed to be somebody different from E7. Yeah, I've never played Epic 7 actually. I know that this is supposed to be very, very similar. It seems like they've obviously copied a lot of their ideas and stuff, basically, from what I understand. But yeah, I never actually played it. Okay, so Ginger just died, so now she's just brought her back. Okay. 
Do we not get an old animation for Luisa? Seriously. I need to change my settings to see if... See if it's just skipping it. But I haven't seen it play yet, so... I don't know if it's skipping it or she just doesn't have one. Okay, now somebody else just died, so she should bring them back. She's probably still on cooldown. Yeah, this isn't going well, but we probably almost won. Yeah, I need to get her skills up quite a bit, because she's, she's not doing amazing healing right now. But I guess that's because her skills are still got a ways to go. Yeah, I mean, for some fights, I think Hiran's going to be a better choice. So she's not going to be great at everything. Um, and I think she's probably better in PvE than she, uh, PvP than she is in PvE. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm struggling to understand... Okay, first things first. Like, why isn't she playing a role animation? Let's go to settings. Ultimate animations enabled. Okay. Need to know if it's skipping it. Or does she just not have one? That's a bit shit if she just doesn't have one. Especially considering what she does. I mean, she resurrects people from the dead. I would expect at least a close up or something. <laughs> uh, this is only good in campaign when you want uh, to three star. Chapter. I was able to do that with you and easily. Uh, yes, I think... I mean, these are tough fights anyway, it's hard to know. It's hard to know whether... How well she compares to Hyun right now. Okay, your perfect chance. Sirius is dead. Here we go. I was gonna say she must have an old animation. Okay, that was a bit underwhelming, but there was all right, I guess. I don't know. I thought we'd be a bit, a bit more impressive than that. It's so, I mean, look at Sirius's old animation. It's pretty, it's pretty sick. And she's got the least. Impossible animation, I think. But I, at least she's got one. Well, Gary's is awesome. Hearings was trash. Pretty big ass. Big ass. Dropping from the sky. Okay. I think Ginger's about to die. Yeah, she's not given that much healing from that attack, but I guess her skill is still quite low, so I need to get more gold chips on her, really, before she can compare with Yirin. Yeah, so like at the moment, in all fairness, I would actually still be better off sticking with Yirin, but obviously, where's the fun in that when I just put in here? But yeah, really, if I can't do a fight with her, I should probably stick Yirin back in, because... Until her skills are fully leveled up, I think she's gonna she's not gonna be able to compare with Hiran's healing just yet. Okay, so now I just have to wait for a cooldown to reset. 
I wonder if the speed set would be better on her so she gets more. That, that cooldown would effectively reset quicker. Uh, yeah, 200 pulls, I got nothing. Woohoo. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I'm, oh, yeah, but you can trade. Um,. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Because you don't get... It's not like you get the guarantee on the 200 pull. It's just that you can trade your ticket in for a copy of the character. Um, after 200 pulls, which is kind of... Which is kind of... Kind of sucky. Um... But if you've done 200 pulls on the same banner, then really you should be able to do the token trade thing, shouldn't you? But, oh my god, yeah, 200 pulls with nothing. So did you just, what did you do? Did you just do 200 pulls on, um, Luisha? Oh no, it's just Luisha now. Okay, this is what I want to see. So now that it's just Luisha, if she brings somebody back, we could turn this around. I guess she's waiting for a cooldown to reset. I hope she hurries up. Luisa! No, you let me down! Right. Just get out of here. Just get back. Go back to wherever you came from, you stupid. Okay. Uh, yeah. That didn't work out, did it? Uh, 200 balls, same banner. Oh, one of my hits are getting banker. Uh, she's A tier for a reason. Oh, you and your tears. Uh, they have, I saw it on the Japanese website. Uh, so I guess we were waiting for a cooldown. Okay, can I do any more chip upgrades? Oh, we've got a new battle pass. We've got a new battle pass. Who's the, um... Who's that? Sylvia, with a glass of expensive wine and a glamorous outfit. Um... I don't think I can get any more chips. Wait, I can't. Okay, so I can do this and get healing up by 5%. We'll definitely do that. Okay. Okay, that may help a little bit. I'm also wondering if I give her the speed heal set. That might be better, even though she's going to be healing less. Actually, no, I don't think she will, because I don't think she heals off of her max HP. Unlike other healers, I think she does a percentage of their max HP. So this won't make her a worse healer, it'll just make her a faster healer. Right, I want to see how that battle compares with that set on it. Okay, let's see if that makes any difference. I mean, some fights are just going to be too tough for her, I think, because she's... She still needs some more gold chips and stuff. Uh, so I'm probably better off sticking with Kieran for certain PvE stuff. But yeah, I'm using her in different situations is how I'm going to learn what works best with her. Uh, I didn't say she wasn't a tier, I'm just saying... They have her as an A tier just because what her kit says. And that actually, what she does. Okay. 
Also, I could go and try and take out the ads first. Yeah, I might, maybe I do that with here in any way, to be fair, on this fight. I can't remember. I think I do. I think that's because these are pretty nasty ads. Maybe I take care of the ads first anywhere. Okay, that last upgrade did help. Yeah, I think she is healing based off their max HP. Because she's definitely healing more now with her S2 than she was. And I just changed the gear so she has less HP. So I don't think she's healing off her max HP. I think I remember reading her skills as well. She heals off their max HP. It's actually quite nice. Because it means I'm not trading in healing efficiency for speed. I'm just trading in her HP for speed. Which is... ベルトが私の計算通りです。狙え。撃て。ちょっと目障りですね。撃てよ。She's deflecting their attacks, which is quite nice. So she doesn't really need the tank set. Well, not for this one. Oh, you make a Gary mad! Someone's about to die. Serious no was dead in Slash Ginger. Ah, we got this this time, I mean. No one's even died yet. Okay, I'll take that back. Serious is not dead. But wait, no, she's not! She's not! Plot twist! She's back! And she's invincible! See, it's so worth it! It's just so worth it! She's invincible as well. It's so good. Yeah, I'm wondering how much that was just RNG changing the fight, which it, we know it does quite a bit. Or how much... Is this just a better build for her? I think it probably is, because she doesn't... She doesn't lose healing, healing efficiency with HP. And she deflects a lot of these attacks anyway. So I think a speed set was gonna work a lot better on her actually. Alright, that was pretty that was a pretty nice fight. That was pretty good. That was pretty good, I like that. Did I eat up all my chips? I think I did, didn't I? I mean, I can get some from this. No, I can't. I can only get it from the gold ones. Yeah, so I already got um, I already got the badges out of this, uh, the chips out of this, I got the chips out of this. There might be chips in the new event. You normally get chips in the new event. Yeah, I don't have any more chips I can get. I even bought the crystal chips now. Crystal chip. Oh, Benny's in here. Benny? Yeah, I've got Benny on my other account. I wasn't particularly impressed. Uh, and then you finally got to see your animation. I know, yeah. It was a little bit, a little bit underwhelming. I was expecting something a bit flashier, but it, yeah, it's fine, I guess. 
I don't know. I can't remember she was resurrecting somebody. If you turn the animation off, it's just funny because it's just it's like watching a light switch come on. It's just like, oh, there's serious again. She's back on. It's like okay. I was I was I genuinely like in my mind. This is the problem, isn't it? With when you think of in my mind, I was picturing some like you know because she's all holy and stuff. So I was picturing like you know big beams of light coming from the sky and then like some kind of like you know ooh, rising up from the ashes. And then like, no, it's just the light switch. Boop, there she is. She's back. <laughs> like, oh, come on, guys. You could have put a bit more effort in the animation. But okay, it's fine, I guess. Whatever. Um. So maybe I should check out the event because I'm curious about a black, a black story, a black story even. Lost at daybreak. Also, I want to have a peek in the shop and see if we can get any chips for her. Uh, which one is the shop? Just the usual school canteen. Okay, so we can get two chips with uh, 800 feathers. I'll we'll get five more balls. Crap. Um. Okay. All right, let's find out about our backstory. Then this will be fun. Event story. It has been more than three months and five days since the rumour broke out in Raja City about the students' ongoing disappearances. The person who started the rumour is nowhere to be found, and the authenticity of the rumour is yet to be verified. At the St. Vivian Academy in Raja City, the students dance to the teacher's beat as they finish up the class. Wait, did they have Snoop Dogg as a teacher? Great, that is all for today's practice. You two did pretty good today. Try to keep up the good work. Until the exhibition match next month, Luisha and Asta. You seem to have become better at your moves. Have you been practicing behind my back? You're making fun of me again. Um, there's one more thing. Do you two know the whereabouts of that classmate who didn't come to class today? Sorry, I don't have a clue. She probably needed to take care of something at home. All right, it's fine. Be careful on your way back. This is already the second student that has gone missing this month. Let's go, Lou. Hmm, you go ahead first. I want to practice my moves a bit more. I feel like I'm still a bit offbeat in the last bar. Uh, be careful not to overwork yourself to the point where it backfires on you. I'll be leaving now, then. Uh, what stat line you have on her? Um. So I've given her, I had a set that I had on here and then which was like a speed set. So I have four piece speed, what was the other one? And two piece counter engine set on her at the moment with a speed uh, engine as the main stat. Uh, and she seems to do a lot better with that. And the, the reason why is she doesn't heal based off her own max HP. So she heals based on the target's max HP. So she doesn't lose healing um, efficiency when you make her faster. But obviously her cooldowns reset a bit quicker. So that's I find I found that much better so far. But obviously I've only took her out of battle a couple of times so far. So I'm still still learning, still getting used to her and stuff. Uh what are you doing going to a bar? <laughs> Luisa Asta. Oh, that's Asta. Huh? Where did all those classmates who went missing go? Asta holding the backpack that she just finished packing turns her head and looks at Luisa. Yeah. Oh, wait, hang on. Asta? Which one's Asta again? This one. Yeah, where could they have gone to? After school, Luisa mooches about the trails in the school with a cluttered mind. Then only after a short while, muffled noises of people arguing come from behind her. I hear people arguing, and it seems like it's coming from the auditorium. I've told you already, I have nothing to do with these disappearances. The only thing that connects me to them is that I'm currently investigating them. Haha, <laughs> it's so obvious that you're trying to trick us. What are they doing? Uh, the person who is surrounded is Dark Deep, the classmate who said that she was investigating the disappearances in the class meeting. I don't think I've really seen her around since we're not in the same class. 
do, do. I'm running speed immunity. Ah, yeah, that might be, um... <laughs> She's not you. How do you know? I might have a little crucifix under here. I might have a little religious pendant on here for all you know. Um, that might be a magical girl deep down inside. Do you actually care why your own classmates went missing? Of course we do! The rumor of students in Roger City disappearing into thin air began to go around in the academy! And weren't you the one who spread this rumor, Dark Teeth, the great detective? That's ridiculous! How could I have done it? What about the only one in the academy who was conducting an investigation? The only one who was conducting an investigation? What's that? A notebook? Hey! That's my notebook. Give it back to me. Calm down. Let us see how good you are, great detective. Oops, sorry. It's unfortunate that that notebook accidentally fell into the water bucket. <laughs> That's going too far. That team always gets bullied by other classmates since she does things that are the opposite of low-key. But why wouldn't they leave her alone even after school? Don't get mad, that team. You- Oh, I got another bully. Don't get mad, Dark Deep. You were the one who sprang over and made the notebook fall. Bastards. Uh, what did you just say? The students suddenly grabbed Dark Deep by her shirt collar. Stop it! I'm sorry about to say, what is she going to a bar? <laughs> Alright! <laughs> I was thinking I probably would be better off going to a bar. <laughs> Sometimes than playing this game. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, first battle. Let's do it. So this is uh, so she's she's a dance student. Interesting. So I would have expected it would have been nice if she had a bit more dancey fluidity to her attacks then, uh, like a like Yula or something from Genshin. But yeah, can't have everything. Banging sound. Okay, let me make a banging sound. There you go. There's your banging sound. What was that? Everyone is caught off guard by the banging noises coming from the pile of equipment in the auditorium. Ah, was there a flash coming from that pile over there? Oh, I get the noise this time. Suddenly a more obvious noise comes from the pile again. What's going on? Why is that javelin floating in the air? <laughs> I don't know, it's about to, it's about to impale you, my friend. It's about to impale you. Make no mistake. Yeah, uh, speed immunity might be a good a good way to go. Actually, that's a good that's a good idea. I suppose it depends who you're fighting, like. But yeah, if you're fighting like the octopus or something like that, it's something that's doing a lot of uh, debuffs and. Yeah, shit like that. Yeah, actually, immunity might be a better way to go over there. That makes a lot of sense. Doesn't it only apply for the first turn, though, immunity? And then it's it's done, isn't it? If I remember right. I think I remember reading that it, it makes you immune for one debuff or one, you know, like, something bad. And then after that, you, it's pretty much useless. But even that might be, uh, might be better. So the reason I've got counter engine is because Hiren's so slow. So at the moment she's wearing Hiren's speed set. Hiren's so slow that, especially in PvP, I found that it was taking too long for it to get a turn at healing. So counter engine meant the more we were getting slapped about, the, the quicker she was getting chance to come in and heal. And it, it did it did wonders for Hiren. It de she definitely does good with that set. But yeah, I think you're right because I think Luisi is just a completely different character. She can resurrect anyway, she doesn't necessarily need to act fast. But that fight I was in earlier where she was pretty much like shocked and couldn't move and she was just skipping all the goes, yeah that's like, if I can avoid that, and with an immunity set I think I probably can, uh, that's probably a much better way to go actually. So I think I might farm some of that. Because I haven't got a decent immunity set at all. Uh, 214 speed with 222k uh, HP and 2.4k defense. Uh, nice. Let's have a look. Let's see what mine's got, shall we? Yeah, I'm not set on this set. At the moment, I've just given her uh, here in speed set. So let's see. I've got... She's got 18.7k HP. Uh, 170 speed. Oh, wow. you got a way up then. Way up. 
Yeah, because I didn't I didn't fuse any like speed substats onto onto here in speed set, but I think doubling down on speed is probably a good idea for her. Because you really want those cooldowns to reset quicker, right? So I think yeah, I think I might want to get her uh, her own set. Because I was going to do that with Hirin originally, but then I realized Hirin's so goddamn slow anyway. That it doesn't really, like, I didn't I didn't think it was going to be worth doing a lot of fusions for, like, gold speed substats. Uh, I did one and then I kind of gave up. Um, but yeah, I think Luisia might actually do more with that. I probably will want to farm our own set. So yeah, uh, but there's my stats currently. I managed to get a uh, up to four four. Um, I haven't done this one yet because I just haven't got the chips right now. And I've got a tech up to to fall anyway because I, I pre farmed. <laughs> Been pre farming for a while now. So yeah, she's uh she seems fun though. Alright, so where was I? Uh, event story. Lost her break. Ah! Not you! Not you, you stinky rabbit. We're done with you. Okay, uh, event story. The javelin's flying towards us! Run, hurry! Frightened by the weird phenomenon, the students run away in a hurry. You're so weak! Don't try to threaten me with only such a tiny amount of courage in you! I'm not scared of this kind of tricks. That flash. It seems that the person hasn't made it too far out yet. Dark Deep quickly jumps off the window of the auditorium and grabs the person who's rushing away. Even if you're a magical girl, you still leave your name after such an act of bravery. Louise! Oh, Louisa! Uh -huh. What are you talking about, Dark Deep? I've just finished practicing and happened to pass by. <laughs> Don't try to play tricks with me. Although you didn't change your form, I could tell with only a glance what the source of power was that did those tricks in the auditorium just now. I could tell whether you're a magical girl or not using my right pupil's perception of power. Power of sensibility? You're indeed a magical girl as well. I guess I didn't have to do all that then. <laughs> the popular figure in the academy actually has a dual identity. Wait! There's actually something special in her identity. Perhaps I could use that to my advantage. Dakti puts on a face as if she's on the cusp of victory and walks towards Luisio. You probably wouldn't want anyone to know about your identity then, eh? Then you should also know about the rumor of this disappearances in St. Vivian, don't you? Uh, yeah? It's hard not to notice since you've been talking about it in the hallways every single day. I'll just cut to the case then. Investigate this rumor with me, Luisa. Or else, if you just find out about the question, the connection between you and me, wouldn't you be treated by the others in the same way as I've been? What? I was trying to help you just now. Are you really threatening me now? Oh, shit, wrong voice. I was trying to help you just now. Are you really threatening me now, Dark Deep? I never asked anyone for help. You only have yourself to blame for that excessive kindness. Don't you worry though, I'll cut ties with you the second we take care of that rumor. But I'm not good at investigating things, and I don't want to use my magical abilities. Then don't blame me if your identity is leaked. <laughs> ah, I can't believe she's this kind of person. Huh, I see. So what do you need me to do? I want to see your abilities. Luisa sees that Dark Deep indeed isn't going to budge. Um, in PV resets every time you move up. Oh. Sorry, what what resets, Trish? Trish, in PV. Um, she puts down her backpack in frustration, and after getting covered by a burst of light. Or do you mean the immunity? This is the form after my transformation! Ta da! So, she actually controls the power of light. That seems kind of dangerous. Show me your strength! Sorry, I don't have the kind of destructive strength that you might be wishing for. What's that supposed to mean? 
Luisha looks towards Darkteep, then turns and points the staff at the piled equipment on the ground. As the staff lets, lets out bursts of light covered by little by little and starts to float in the air one by one. My ability allows me to be able to control things like this! What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's so weak. And here I thought the magical girl had some powerful abilities. Such a shame. Fine. We'll just put your people skills to good use. Alright. Take out your communication device. Well, uh, what for? This is my contact number. I'll contact you when the time comes. Seeing the notes by the contact number, Luisha becomes deep in thought. The ruler of the chaotic knights, Darkty, the emissary, emissary of night. Mm, not everyone is qualified to have a way to contact me. Be appreciative. Oh, God damn it, I keep doing the wrong voice. We'll call it for today. Wait for me to contact you. Oh yeah, you did mean immunity, sir. Sure. Alright, let's go and slap some more bitches about. Uh, and I'm gonna go for a quick toilet or while I earn me some more feathers. The urgent voice. Watch out, watch out! How can this be? Don't be scared, listen, you now have to... Beep! Ah! Beep! As the communication device at her bedside keeps making a beeping sound, Luisa suddenly wakes up from a nightmare and sits up. What, her bedside's in the middle of a city centre? It was a dream, huh? Beep! Missed call message. It's Dark Deep. Wake up, the MFC of Light. You still need to maintain that level of vigilance and activeness, even if it's an off day. This is what a magical... Ah, a bit too loud. This is what a magical girl needs to have determination on. Meet me at the crossroads of Central Avenue immediately. The investigation has begun. Playback is now over. The investigation, huh? Yeah. Yeah, isn't that... I swear that's Morris's sound clip. Isn't that Morris's sound clip? I swear that's the same, not only the same voice, I'm pretty sure it's the same bloody audio file for Morris's victory screen. So either they've, either it's accidentally playing the wrong sound file, or they're using the same sound file for both characters, or I'm just wrong and they just sound similar. Uh, I don't play with audio. Yeah, it sounds, maybe it just sounds awfully similar, because I mean, I don't know, I mean, they're, they're in Japanese, so maybe I'm just, maybe these sounds, okay. Or maybe they're even s playing similar things. 
Dactiv is only a four star. Oh yeah, that's right. She's the she's the preview that we get, isn't she, for this event? Uh, wait. What's that? I saw. Eh. I thought I saw a reward in there. I'm seeing things. Yeah, I think maybe she just sounds similar to Morris. So, Trish, are you saying that you don't like hearing Timmy's? Oh man, that's that's worth audio. That alone. like a dopey expression on her. She's like, all the time. Okay, <laughs> one four. Set up properly. Yeah, no, I, I think she has got unique voice lines. She, I think she just sounds very similar to Morris. I mean, I have to have it really quiet anyway for the stream. So it is it is kind of hard for me to hear anyway. Alright. Yeah, I want to farm these uh, chips straight as quickly as possible so I can get some more of the skills up. At the crossroad of the Central Avenue. You've made it in time, the Emissary of Light. What are we going to do now? To investigate the cases, of course. Dakti pulls out a very wrinkled notebook and starts flipping the pages. Went missing after getting wounded and disappeared at midnight in the school. All the statements that are going around in the academy are over the top. A living human being does not just vanish into thin air, so I checked the classes that this disappeared persons were in. And eventually, I came up with a list. Luisha takes a glance at the sheet of paper, handed over by Dagti, which had some curled corners. Hmm, do we already have nine people who are missing? Yeah, but the problem now is where should we start to look for their whereabouts? The teachers have been keeping their silence about this matter, while the students have also been trying to avoid it as much as possible. We probably won't get any useful information that way. What about the hospital? The hospital? Went missing after getting wounded and disappeared at midnight in the school. I think it's safe to assume that they only went missing after running into some kind of danger inside the school. How can you say with certainty that there will be clues at the hospital with only that to back it up? I'm not saying it with certainty. I've only made an assumption since we are not able to gather information from the inside. Perhaps you didn't know this, but Central Hospital is the one to provide all the medical insurance to save Vivian. It's the first Central Hospital with the most complete medical equipment. All students are sent there immediately for treatment if injured. It kind of makes sense. 
I'm going to trust you on this for the time being. At the first central hospital in Raja City. And where do we start? It wouldn't make sense if we tried to find management. We're the only students. Uh, we're only students and we don't have a letter of introduction from our school. Perhaps we'll be able to get information out from those workers who have been in frequent contact with the patients. Patient Holden Stomach. Excuse me, mate. Where is the Department for Gastroenterology? Hello there. Go straight and turn left when you see the Area D sign. It'll be the first room that you see. Take care. Hello, I think I missed my number just now. Could I still get checked by a doctor? Please give me your appointment slip. Yes, you can go directly to the Department of Neurosurgery and get checked out. Is there any other, other patient that still needs assistance? I get it now. She's the emissary. Emiss can't say that word. Is it emissary? Emissary of life. But isn't it light? The signed a soul pact with Lachesis. Oh. I'm the emissary of yawn and stretch. She's the receptionist here, so she must have made contact with a lot of patients who came to visit. What? What pact? It's time for you to show your ability, emiss emissary of light. Huh? Why are you pushing me? Hold up, I cannot use my powers here, Dark Deep. Oh, that's Louis here. I'm not asking you to use your magical powers. Then what did you mean by showing your abil my ability? Your people skills. This is your medication. Take care. Excuse me. Hello, is there anything I could... Hi. A student? Uh, you need to have a letter of introduction from your school if you're here for academic consulting. Oh, we're not here for academic consulting. We're students from St. Vivian Academy. I'm Louisa, and she's the emissary. Dark Tape. My name is Dark Tape. We've been asked to inquire about the incidents in our school. It won't take long. Aha, but I'm only an ordinary nurse. No, you're not the one that could be of help. No, you're exactly the one who could be of help to us, since you make contact with a large number of patients on a daily basis. Whoa, you're making me feel like I've become an important witness of some kind of an ordinary nurse. Well, we only need a few minutes of your time and have you answer some questions, that's all. All right. I'm going to be rotating my shift in 10 minutes. Why don't you wait for me there at the waiting area? Thank you so much. It seems a lot easier than we imagined. That's because you've made this whole people skills thing too complicated. So long as you have to be honest and clear about your needs, nothing will really go wrong. Of course, I knew that theory. Patients from your school? Yeah, our friend hasn't been in school since last month. The teacher told us that she is here, so we want to pay her a visit. Give me a second. The nurse pulls up the patient registration list from last month. That's strange. We didn't take in any St. Vivian Academy students last month. No, that's impossible. The teacher would never lie to us. Please check the records again thoroughly. We're going to graduate and leave Roger City soon. We will all live to regret it if we're not able to see our friend before we graduate. Okay. Don't get too frustrated, but we really don't have any records of her here. It might be a bit rude, but perhaps you are getting too much pressure from your school. Too much pressure? In fact, although we didn't take in any students as a patient last month, we indeed took in one of the kids from your school a few months ago. There's a clue indeed. The kid was in a coma when she was sent here. Then she started to cry and made a scene about wanting to transfer to another school. But she stuttered and couldn't answer why she went into a coma in school and why she wanted to transfer. 
Since we didn't have any clues to keep digging, the investigator then thought it was caused by mental distress. Your school even sent someone over to apologize for that. Then why didn't the school go public with this incident? Kid, your school would have been in so much negative publicity if words got out that it had a number of students who went into coma and had memory loss. But I think it's better if you don't look into what I just told you. Luisha and Dakti walk out of the hospital and stand on the side of the road to digest the information that they just obtained. That means the students didn't go missing but transferred to another school voluntarily. The school covered up the news about students getting injured on its property to protect its reputation. Then somehow, rumour got out and mistakenly identified those incidents as disappearances. Then what should we do next? We're going to get answers from those students directly. Mm, the old strong arm technique. Um, so when you said... So when you did, you said you did 200 pulls and didn't get anything. I'm confused, that makes it sound like you've, you've gone and done... Is that on your main account? Were you pulling for Luisha? Like, that's... It's quite the announcement. Hang on, let's have a look. It'll, it'll show me on here what I'm... Ah, you went and bought the battle pass again. <laughs> you you bought that every time, I think. Okay, yeah, well, you don't you don't have anyone new in here yet, anyway. Um. Uh, well, I don't want a Benny, so I have to wait. Oh, right, I see, I see. So you, you mean the yeah, the ones that you get from in the shop? Yeah, I'm the same on my free to play account. <laughs> That's she. She looks like such an alcoholic. This is like all the wine all around her. <laughs> yeah, uh, my free to play account. Like I was, I was looking at the same thing and noticed that it was a Benny thing. And yeah, it's just it's kind of frustrating waiting for somebody like decent to show up in here, isn't it? And you don't know who's going to show up and all win. Um, I've got fifty nine on this account. Yeah, because this account, this account is blessed. Like holy shit, this is definitely a blessed account. So I've only had fifty nine. Wasted, I suppose, somewhat wasted pulls. Yes, because the other, like, the other, the other 200 went towards Sirius. And then, yeah, I don't even know how many pulls I just got Luisha in. It was either like 30 or 40, though, right? Because I've still got. Yeah, I've still got 20 reds left. That's, that's crazy. I can't believe I didn't even spend crystals. That's nuts. Oh no, here we go, it was 50 pulls, it says there. Okay, that, that went by a lot quicker than I thought then. Still, 50 pulls is pretty good. That's still super lucky. That's a 0.7% chance of landing. So that's super lucky. Yeah, I think I think I would got very lucky there. 50 wishes. Yeah, I forgot it tells you there, doesn't it? So. So the, the interesting thing now is I'll get those 50 wishes in here as well, won't I? So that'll be, that'll now be at 109. I think I'm at 400 total and I only got three five stars. Man, yeah, I mean that's, that's gacha isn't it? It's just like... It can be so bad and then it can also be so good. I mean at the same time, like you you also got like two risers, didn't you, in one temple at one point? Like that is completely nuts. So yeah, it's just like it's just so annoying. Like the highs are highs, but like oh my god. The problem with that is it, it allows them to obviously Yeah, make it pretty crappy overall, just which is what makes the highs so high, but it's it's not a good Certainly not consumer friendly, but yeah, I definitely got lucky there. So like, I could probably go for for bonus or whoever, Jesse or whoever else. So that's quite nice. Um, I'm I'm well set like to go for another character further down the line, which is nice. But yeah, I think this is the right thing to do because I said to myself, if I get it early enough, it makes sense to not get the constellation because who knows how long it could take to get another copy. 
Uh, and, and the thing is, you can always use the Bon Bon XLs. So by the time I've got my... Let's see. I'm close already, I think. It's this one, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, okay, I've only got 164 of these. It'll still take me a while, but I've got enough badges and it shouldn't... I'll get there eventually. Yeah, I just don't think Status Resist is, is a particularly good buff to get anywhere for a second copy. It seems kind of lackluster to me. Yeah, so I wonder if I should uh, farm like a, a couple of immunity pieces for them. I mean, immunity makes sense for PvE, but it doesn't really make sense for PvP. I don't know, does it? Maybe it does. Is it like, okay, for like the Milvus strat, for example, I guess it would make you immune to like Milvus' freeze and stuff like that, I would think. After school at St. Vivian Academy, Luisa just walked out of the school gate. Indistinctively, sounds of a quarrel break out from an alley behind her. Don't leave, great detective. Enough is enough. Why are you always harassing me? I'm going to find out the truth behind it soon. Uh, is Deep getting harassed again? We only want to be... We only want to be by your side and learn a thing or two from the great detective. Right, everyone? Wind blows. A strange noise comes from the garbage pile in the alley as a gentle wind breezes by. What was that? Dark Deep slowly raises her head and sees Louisa giving her a signal in the crowd not far away. Why is she here? Am I going to be rescued again? At night, students got missing. Hey, what are you mumbling about? Different from how brave she sounded just earlier. Dark Deep intentionally lowers her voice. Don't you think you are in the same situation as the rumours? The students all look frightened when Dark Deep asks them about it, and the strange noise keeps getting closer. It's so OP. It's just so OP when you let the animation play and everything for Kigari. And then there's a tiny little ad just stood there, like. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I actually think uh, Kigari's got the best all animation on my team. Do you have a favorite alt animation, uh, Trish? In this game? Yeah, I think my favorite is Kigari's. I do like Kigari's alt animation. It's so over the top. <laughs> it's just so funny.
Riser. Oh, yay, Riser is good. Yeah, Riser is good. <laughs> yeah, Riser is very good. Oh, it's so annoying. See, if I'd have known, if only you could know the future, right? With the amount of wishes I have left, I could have gotten Riser as well. Like, I so could have gotten Riser. Because Riser was guaranteed within 90 pulls as well, wasn't she? It's like I've got 150 pulls left. <laughs> I could have gotten. No, I couldn't have got two Riser, but I could have got. I definitely could have got a Riser or a Lila. Um. Yeah, but I, didn't, I don't really like Lila's character that much, but she seems more practical for this game. But I think Riser's, Riser's a much better character. Yeah, I think the only reason I was tempted to get Lila is because Ginger's so bad in PvP, and she seemed like a good blue alternative. Um, but no, Rise Rise is so much better. Rise is such a good character. They all ran away. Come out, Loisha. Are you all right, Dark Deep? How come they were harassing you again? I was trying to gather information about those students who transferred and got caught by them. That's so out of line. You have to fight back next time. Why did you save me, Luisia? Don't you remember that I threatened you the last time you did that? Of course I didn't. But you only did it because you wanted to find out the truth. Isn't that right, Dark Deep? And I too hope our classmates will not be in danger again. That sounds exactly like something you would say. Luisha notices a graze wound on Dark Deep's leg and frowns. It's nothing. I fell by accident. Don't move, Dark Deep. Luisha puts her hands on the sides of the wounds and becomes extremely focused. My wound is glowing. This is my first try, too. Since I could control objects, I should be able to fix the damaged muscle tissues. And so long as I utilize the knowledge taught in the medical courses... Although it's kind of slow, the wound that is covered by the light is indeed healing. Amazing. I can't believe I actually have the ability to heal people. It worked only because I was wishing that I could heal you. Hmm. Luisia, although it's already very late to say this, Dark Deep seems a bit nervous and plays with the corners of her shirt without really knowing it. I'm sorry. I apologize for threatening you last time. Hey, look. You get shy too. Who got shy? I was simply apologizing. All right, all right, I accept your apology. Let's try to get along with each other, Dark Deep. Okay. Oh, what a beautiful friendship. He's forming. Can you feel the warmth and the, and the power of friendship on the horizon? Engulfing all who believe, all who believe and 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 live with their hearts. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> yeah, another fiftieth Alice. Hey, you got another Alice. <laughs> yeah, your Alice is gonna be nuts. This is gonna be nuts. Yeah, I've had a lot of Alice. I don't even use it, that's the worst part. At least you use Alice. I don't even use her. The game's trying to bully me into using her. She keeps ramming her down my throat. Here. <laughs> Here, Alice. I'm surprised I didn't get one a day, actually. Who did I get? I got the worst four stars, though, didn't I? Did I even get a good four star? I don't think I did. So. I should probably organize that, actually. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look. Uh, what do we get? Eliminate 80 monsters. I've got a nice cake for Luisa now. And catch her up. I also got... Uh, let's, I've already dried up that event ages ago. Ages ago. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of new stuff then, haven't we? We've got that cat orb thing. We've got something in purple at the top that's flashing at me. 
got this event. Nice. Um, let's give her this kick. Uh, you got Della, Alice, Dean, and Deange. Deange. That's a lot of D's. Oh, look, your ex-wife's here. What are you doing here? I don't know what your ex-wife's doing visiting. Uh, where did I put? I didn't put her in the lobby. I put her in the kitchen, didn't I? Oh, she's eating a candy floss. Ah, oh, that's actually adorable. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get fat because you just had a candy floss. I have this as well. Hey there. Today's lesson is. Oh, is it about the more powerful attack magic? Ugh, oh, excuse me. I don't think that I'm a good fit for this lesson. Alright, well. <laughs> that happens. So we got a ranked two now. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see what I. What did I get? Four star today. I didn't delete any of my four stars, so they should still be here. I think I've got a Sylvia because she's flashing red. Then again, there's a lot of units that are flashing red right now. Ah! I mean to click you. Alright, so I got an Iberus. I got two Iberuses. Wait, or is one of those my first Iberus? Who the hell is Iberus anyway? Uh. I've got two extra Angelicas. Okay, so I might as well start organizing some of these. Okay, who do you think is the best four star that I could rank up? Oh, I've got another Morris now. Oh, obviously Morris then. Oh, I finally got another Morris. Did I get her today? Ooh, Morris! I just I got another Morris. Did I get her today? I must have done. There you go. Rank Morris up. Excellent. I'm glad I got a Morris. Uh, did you did you see my new five star in the background behind Luisia? Nothing, Chan. <laughs> Nothing, Chan. Ah, <laughs> uh, you used up all your luck on Riser. That's what it is. Have you actually changed your background? Wait, you're not you're not Queen T. <laughs> yeah, you changed to the thing now, didn't you? Sylvia's uh thing. Okay, so next to Morris. I don't know if Sylvia's any good or not. Is Winnie a four star? No, I I must have run Did I rank her up to a four star? Yeah, I think I might have ranked her off. So... Kathy... I think that's my first Kathy. Timmy, I should... Uh, yeah, I should get Timmy leveled up. Uh, this this is my first Timmy again. Because I remember being sad that I didn't have Timmy. Because I couldn't even beat the meta even if I wanted to. So what I'll do, I'll get Timmy leveled up. Jesus, one purple cat ball does it. Actually, one purple, one blue, and one green does it. So there's Timmy. We can give Timmy three Timmies! <laughs> we give th Timmy three Timmies to rank up, and then we should also star up as well. Yeah, now we got Timmy at rank. Rank three. Okay. What colour is Timmy? Red. I, I'll hold off for now. It probably would make sense to start levelling Timmy up. It's just so that I can do the speed cleave thing if, if I want to. Because I've got an Alice. Now I've got a Timmy. So it, it could be fun to maybe try some things. i got Talker now as well, haven't I? Go about that. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay, so who else have I got? Um, did you see my new motto? Oh, is that on your... On here? I played this game by a highly requester called Captain Corpio. 
Um, are you able to join? I don't think you are at level 11, are you? Are you able to join an alliance yet? Please. I'll send you an invite. Right, uh, so I've got a pretty decent looking Timmy now. Angelica, we got more... Yeah, we did get more refinements for Angelica, but I don't know if she's any good. I've got my first Iberus and my... F oh, that's not my... That's my first friend, yeah. Uh, you still don't have Iberus, really? Isn't that weird? Two of them there? Uh, is that my first roll call? Oh, I hate organising this thing. This thing is such a pain. And is that also now my first Margo? Oh, I've got a Margo. Now I've got a Margo up there. Because ah. I know Margo is, is good, was good at fighting one of the event things, right? Because she's good at she's good at immunity or something like that. I think it's immunity she's good at. So I should probably level up Margo. So how are you finding it then, Peaks? Are you enjoying it? I think it's pretty good. Okay, we can give give you that. Yeah, we can give you that, and then that'll rank you up and star you up. Okay, we've got a, de a decent looking Margo. At C2. Ah, I clicked the wrong thing. Right, who else have we got? Uh, I think that's my first Kathy. Yeah, I'm starting to get units again, aren't I? I think that's my only copy of Dianst. Yeah, she's locked. I got more Dianst's as well, or did I end up scrapping her? I might have scrapped her duplicates. Or did I already level her up? No, I must have I must have deleted some Dianch. <laughs> it's fine. I don't, I'm not going to use her anyway. Um, okay, so we did Timmy. Valeria. Any other Valerias anywhere? I don't think so. I think it's my first Valeria. So we'll lock this Valeria. Uh, yeah, I remember you saying you didn't have Micah. I didn't know you didn't have Iberus either. Uh, going through chapter 2, Commander level 30. Yeah, I just wondered if you were enjoying it. Oh yeah, I've got Micah as well, haven't I? I think I've had her a couple of times as well. I think I deleted some Micahs. Rosemary, I've got Rosemary. She's locked. Okay. Oh, I've locked both Valerias. Okay, let's unlock one of them then. Uh, Iberus. Iberus is locked. Angelica is not locked. Oh, there's, no, there's a locked Angelica up there. And I've got another copy of Sember if I want to rank her up. I don't know if I do. I think she's probably garbage. She? I did rank up once before. Yeah, the thing is though, I... It, I might as well rank them up, because like... Yeah, because I already did that, so... I don't know why you would ask me that, but I've already done it. Nisa, Nisa sounds like a shop that you go to to buy a packet of cigarettes and uh, a couple of bars of chocolate and, st and stuff. I think we have a shop called something like that, Nisa. <laughs> Kathy. Okay, so we got uh, our first Kathy. And another copy of Kathy. Uh, well, Kathy's a cat girl, so we should... Imagine so is Angela. 
So my theory was, well, let's do, let's do Kathy. Okay, so, ah, uh, right, the problem now is I don't have enough four stars. So if I want to rank Kathy up, I need some four star robots, basically. I don't have any three star robots either, do I, that I can rank up? I need to go farm some. Actually, I should get a load from this event. Yeah, I should get a load from this event. Yeah, you normally get loads while you're farming the events out, don't you? Yeah, so I'll just I'll hold off for now until I've found the event. What else do we need to do? We need uh, data collection. Yeah, may as well. It's red. Oh, it's Luisa's technology day, but we already had a, we already had a farm up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm 20 commander levels under. Oh, right for um yeah, I couldn't remember what uh, level you needed to be for alliance. Yeah, you do get quite a lot of free wishes uh, as you go through the game and level up. Because you get like a wish... I think you get a wish for every two levels that you do, both on normal and hard. And then you get like, I think it's two wishes for every end boss battle for each chapter as well. Uh, so that adds up to quite a few. It's definitely enough to guarantee yourself a 5 star if you want. Um, but I would maybe just, yeah, it gets it gets a lot harder to get free wishes after that, so I would just be careful who you spend that on, who you save for. Uh, plus all the red tickets, it's like around 150 or something falls. Yeah, um, actually I think it's more than that because, um, because I, I got, to, I got Milvus at 180 before spending, although, mm, to be fair, maybe I did spend, I don't think I spent anything that gave me wishes though originally, because the first thing I bought was an outfit. Who did I get an outfit for? I definitely got a costume as my first purchase. Who, who did I buy a costume? Oh, Shinobu, because she wasn't wearing enough clothes. That's right. I bought Shinobu's costume. And then I kept buying things like uh, little chips and stuff like that. But yeah, I don't, I don't feel like I bought anything that really gave me crystals or wishes. But maybe I did. I think I bought the crystal monthly pass thing. Yeah, so that was probably adding up as well. Yeah, I, I know that I know that on my other account, which I call my free to play account, but I did start spending a lot of money, so it wasn't really free to play. No, I don't think I did. But no, I didn't buy the monthly crystal card in that account because I remember I remember not wanting to commit anything because I I had a feeling it wasn't going to be my main account. I was right, so I didn't. I only bought yeah, I only bought like outfits and yeah, I didn't spend a whole lot on that account. I only spent a few. A few quid here and there. And I got I got Milvus at like pull 180 or something. So I think you can get about 193 pulls just through playing the game. Oh that's true, yeah, we got launch celebration gems and tickets. Uh Pika might have got those. Pika might have I don't know, maybe, maybe there was, those have stopped now. Did you get anything in the mail, Pika? Like, um, because of the... I think it was something like Celebration Launch, Gems and stuff. Yeah, we got, we got like, at least, at least the 10... I think it was about 15 pulls, wasn't it? 
Yeah, I did all my reroll accounts, but that was a while ago now, so I don't know whether you still get them. So I've only got 280 of these. Yeah, so we can get Dark Deep from the events. A magical girl who speaks in a very literal, literal and inscrutable way and is also very competitive with other magical girls. <laughs> Have you noticed? I think this world is very sexist. You never hear of magical boys, do you? Have you noticed? Hmm? Boys, boys are never magical. Hmm? It's very, it's very sexist. It's only ever magical girls. Ridiculous. In a dark alley inside the city, uh, we got launch celebration gems and tickets though. Yeah, yeah, I know we got those. That's why I was wondering if Pika still got them. The man and recast mail. Yeah, it sounds like maybe you don't get them anymore then. In a dark alley inside the city, Luisha doesn't seem to visit you that often anymore. What are you trying to say? Nothing, it's just that I saw that she is getting pretty close with a new kid. What's this to be surprised about? What if the kid is dangerous? Is there anyone who could be more dangerous than me? <laughs> Yeah, but Peaks, um, the if you're planning on staying free to play, my recommendation would be not to get a five star healer because Morris, who you get, um, is actually very, very good. She might even be the best healer in the game, if we're being completely honest. Um, I got lucky and got Kieran, but yeah, like I said, it's, in many ways, it took Kieran a long time to surpass Morris, and even now, I'm still not sure if she ever really did. Uh, but yeah, Morris is a really good healer, so... If you want to stay free to play, I would recommend just sticking with Morris as your main healer. And not worry too much about a five star healer. Um, yeah, and then once you've once you've found somebody you like for the infinite re rolls, get them. Uh, Ghost seems quite good. I obviously like um, Ginger. Some five stars aren't in that roster though, like Kagari. I couldn't get Kagari that way. I had to get I had to get lucky to get Kagari. Uh, but a lot of people like Kagari anyway. So I'm trying to think who's on there. There's ghosts on there, I think. I think Cindy's on there. I don't think anyone likes Cindy. Ginger, I think Ginger seems to be everybody. Everybody seems to think Ginger's the best choice. That's who I went with. Uh, I don't know if Benny and stuff's on there. I'm not sure. I think there's a button that tells you who's on there, though next to the banner so you can click that and, and take a look uh, and we have a good website that we use don't we Trish that uh, it gives you some information about like ranks and you know how to build them and stuff like that it's helped us out a lot not Phantom or Kagari that's all I think yeah I think you're right and Alice isn't on there who's a four star they took Alice off as well uh, so if you want Alice, yeah, you'll have to get lucky and get Alice. But she's not that hard to get, I don't think. But then again, I've seen people online say they've never gotten her, so maybe I've just been lucky. I've found I found her like insanely easy to get. She just seems to plague me on every account. 
Um, so I haven't found it hard to get it all. But then I've never gotten Nemophilus on Nemophila on this account, which is really weird. So I don't know. It's just obviously it's just look, isn't it? Uh, my team three blues and one red healer. Ah. Yeah. So you that team will be good at dealing with specific types of enemies. I mean, early game you should be fine anyway. Um, but later on, when you might want to think about having a couple of other colors, just so that you don't find yourself. Because if you come across uh, blue is weak against no gr green, yeah. So if you get like some big bosses later in the game that are green, you're going to be super vulnerable to them. So it's good to have a couple of other colors on standby just in case. So the way I built my team, you'll see I've got one red, one green, one blue. PBS, and then I've got a uh, whoever my healer is. And I'm trying to get different coloured healers as well, just for that purpose. Um, and it's it served me pretty well, but even my team has its weaknesses. You know what I mean? It's like one team fits all uh, isn't really the most optimal way of doing things, but it's a good way to keep things cheap, and it's allowed me to focus on just one team. Um, yeah, for the whole main story though, one grace can basically destroy it. Oh, like, yeah, that's true. 410 or something. Yeah, grace is pretty nuts. I got no Morris on EU. Yeah, that's right. You don't get... No, wait, I think you get her. You will get her if you look in your... Yeah, because I had to do a lot of rerolls to get Morris on the reroll banner. You can get her on the real reroll banner. But trying to get Ginger with a Morris is, can take a while. But I, I I forced it on one of my accounts. In fact, I think it was this one. Yeah, I think it was. I think I re-rolled this account so many times because I wanted Ginger and Morris together. Then I ended up getting Morris lucky anyway. Wait a minute, I think you do get Morris though as a... It's a mission reward, I think. I think you get her on like day three or four login or something like that. It's something really basic like that. Like, I think you have to log in for so many days straight, and then you get her on, like, the fourth day or something, I think. So check your your little boxes on the main screen where it tells you what... I can show you where to check, actually. You click Event. You click the Event button on the left. That will have little sections that tell you all the different things that you're getting rewards for. And one of them will be, like, a new, a new player daily login reward or something and I'm pretty sure you get a Morris on day three or four something like that. Is it day seven? Day seven is when you can unlock the oh day seven is when you can unlock the queen set. She comes on day two for free. Yeah. Yeah you will you will get her. Um everyone gets her but um she's really good. She she, she is actually really really good. She's nuts. She's a little too good. Uh Hey, the anniversary of light, after my tireless efforts to dig up information, I've finally gotten the current address of a victim from one of her friends. Huh, someone actually knew? Yeah, and it seems like they're really good friends. I've sent the address to you on your communication device. This is located in... Why did a communication device make a knife sound when she pulled it out? If we want to arrive at that location, we'll need to cross a war zone, Dark D. That's right. So are we going to ask the Frontier for aid? <laughs> Why are you so narrow-minded? They would never have the time to deal with things like these. Don't forget that I am the magical girl who controls the air. Are you actually going to fly over the war zone? That's the only possible way. I've done the math already. The war zone isn't huge. I'll make it there in less than an hour. Well, it sounds like a plan if everything goes smoothly, but I feel the plan is full of loopholes. There's no time to wait around anymore. We have to hurry and verify once we get our hands on new leads. To finishing her sentence, Dark Deep instantly transforms into the form of a magical girl. Plus, if anything happens, I'll handle it. Wow, is that your form after your transformation? Is it really different from mine? I am the Emissary of Night, who has mastered the power of Eternal Night. Of course my form is different from that of the Emissary of Light. We don't have much time left. Let's get going. 
in the desert of the war zone. This place is so desolated. That's what happens when a land is corrupted by misfortunes. We'll get past this war zone if we keep flying in this direction for another five minutes. Yeah. Oh, I see some city buildings. Look there is the emissary of light. Uh, watch out, Dark Deep! A cannon with flickering red lights flies towards Dark Deep from the ground. She quickly turns and dodges it. Uh, the X3 farm is all greens. Oh, it's the. Uh, what? For the event? It's normally reds, and Luis is red, so. so strange. Uh, Morris Day 2, maybe I got her after trying Tower of Fantasy or if I play again another time. Hmm, you're being ridiculous, whoever you are. To think you could hit me. Hold on, the cannon is coming back this way. Huh? Even the puppets have the track via missile technology. Luisha quickly twirls her staff and aims it towards the cannon. The cannon is instantly surrounded and covered by lights. It stopped! Great, save the emissary of light! Let's get out of here right away! Right when Luisia turns around, she finds herself face to face with another cannon. Oh no! Luisia! Am I going to die? No, I'm going to let you die. I'm not. Go I mean, I'm not going to let you die. Grab on to me. We're leaving here. <laughs> Luisha wakes up from a brief coma. <laughs> just a brief coma. Just a. Just give me a five-minute coma. I'll be back. <laughs> and sees that Dark Deep is standing in front of her and fending off a puppet hard. I didn't die. How could I have let you die? Then get out of here. I'll hold them off. No, I'm not leaving you here by yourself. Plus, if I fly away now, I'll probably get blasted to the ground again. Luisa staggers as she gets up and points the staff towards the puppets in front of her. I'll control them and you can take them out. Don't be too reckless, Luisa. It's not going to be easy to take them out when there are so many of them. The puppets make their way towards Luisa and Dark Deep in an attempt to encircle them. But time to put that almighty and top of the class brain of yours to use, Luisa. But I never learned about how to fight against the puppets. Hmm, 10, 15, 20? It's not going to work, there's just too many of them. I'm able to simultaneously control at most three objects of the same size, but even if I am able to gain control over a few of the puppets, the others will swarm in. This isn't looking good. Luisha quickly takes a look at the puppet horde right in front of them, sets her gaze over the whole desert. It seems like we only have that plan to go with. Another plan, Dark Deep. Just shoot, whatever it is. But if we get caught by the puppets, we'll end up becoming one of them, like what we learned in school. What kind of depressing words is that? Huh? I hope your plan isn't to join them. Of course not. I don't want to look that ugly. <laughs> He's behind that rock tag team. I like the way she only, she only doesn't want to turn into a zombie because she doesn't want to be ugly. Other than that, zombies are fine, but you know, she doesn't want to be an ugly zombie. If she could be a pretty zombie, then it'd be fine. What I'm going to do next might bring great danger. So you'd better be prepared to keep yourself safe. Keep myself safe? What is that supposed to mean? Dark Deep notices something irregular about the force field, and she looks at Luisa in shock. I just need to slowly gather my power onto the staff, be focused, and control the release of the power. Luisa levitates and floats in the air, with the staff in her hands. Her eyes blaze, and her body lets out an unprecedented bright light. What's the pressure I'm feeling? Those enemies have actually been suppressed by the light. Is that actually one of Luisa's abilities as well? Crap, I'm losing consciousness. I indeed haven't mastered this power yet. Get out of the way now, Dark Team! Dum dum dum!
absolute top class writing as per usual you know the writing in this game is second to none it really is very impressive Yeah, she just did a nice attack there against that whole horde of enemies, to be fair. That was pretty good. Because Sirius' attack got deflected, so she kind of did more damage than Sirius. But I guess she was probably the right core or something. Yeah, these are only weakling enemies as well, to be fair. But still, that's a lot more helpful than like hearing on Morris, who only attack a single target. So I felt like that was very helpful. Um, but yeah, for strong for stronger hordes uh, and stronger boss fights and stuff, it's not going to be that useful. Wait, can you get um outfit uh, uh, costume tokens with crystals? I don't think we can, can you? Because given how many I've got left, I might get to Alice's costume if I can. Because I've wanted it for a while. I don't know what you can. Dark Deep slowly pops her head out from behind the rock and sees a large amount of remains of the puppets on the ground that were eliminated by the light. Uh, I would wait for future ones, probably. Mm, I do like it, though. You've actually eliminated all of them! <laughs> you weren't caught in the land of fire, right, Dark Deep? Luisha, you. Luisha, with her back facing Dark Deep, stiffly looks towards the front and doesn't turn around at all. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you about this ability. You're so damn powerful! Then the, emiss emiss then the Emissary of Light deserves a spot in the mission to save the world. We can unite and fight against evil now. She actually didn't blame me for not telling her about my ability, huh? But... I'm sorry, but I cannot use this power again. What? It's way too powerful for me to have it under control. Didn't you do a pretty good job of that just now, though? Sure, if you think this kind of indiscriminate attack is considered to be under control. But it indeed found you on its own, so that means you are capable of mastering it. I have no idea either. If I can't control it, then it doesn't matter how powerful it actually is. Unless I can find another way to use it. Luisha holds the staff tightly in her hand. The excessive ability from earlier is making her dizzy. I think I need to get back and recuperate a bit. Do you think you can complete the journey all by yourself? Uh, of course! Don't under underestimate the Emissary of Night. And hurry and get out of here before it's too late!
Ugh. Um, have we had any new outfits for a while? No, there hasn't been anything new for a while. Yeah, I do like that though. I think that's pretty good. You get the icon as well. Uh, but I don't know that you can buy them with crystals anyway. Can you? No, I don't think you can. You can get them. You can only get them with silver badges. Oh, I can get these. 20, 30, I could get three of those. But that only give, that literally gives me three tickets, doesn't it? Yeah, that would only be three tickets. That's a bit of a brick, that is. Found 30. So that would give me that would only give me 33. Yeah, that's kind of hard. Yeah, I don't think you can get them anywhere else. Uh, I just hated the ugly Alice in game in-game model. I don't think she looks too bad. I mean, she's supposed to, she's based on Alice in Wonderland, isn't she? So she's obviously like themed like that. But yeah, the the other Alice is quite uh, interesting. Puts a bit of a spin on her. I think it's more I think it's more her um, true colours showing through. Um, wait, Sylvia. <gasps> oh, that's interesting. I wonder if Sylvia's OP now. Sylvia's just got some armament application. Ah. Interesting. Sylvia and Shinobu both. Didn't she? Wasn't Shinobu's there before? Was that new? I thought it was. I thought it was there before. Oh no, it was Neo, wasn't it? It was always Neo. Yeah, I wonder if Shinobu. Shinobu's probably quite strong if you take all the way with that. Then probably, I would imagine. Outfit supply. Yeah, I, I'm surprised. I don't think there's any way you can get the outfit tokens with crystals. Oh, you know what I could do now as well? Actually, that's a good point. Because since I saved so many crystals, because she dropped so early, I was reluctant to get this because it seemed like a bit of a ripoff. And also, yeah, I get like three of those. I get only eight outfit crystals. Yeah, there's some good stuff in here. I just think it's... If you're if you're saving wishes, it's bad for saving wishes because you can get the wishes for cheap crystals and that. But now that I don't need to save the wishes, I should probably get this. It's gonna be six energies, four chips, a four-star alpha nos, a chip, these bloody gold dusts. I get three wishes back, and I also get eight outfit tickets and two crystals. Yeah, I'll probably get that now. Oh, they've got another one now. For level 35. Oh, I suppose I could get these now then, right? These are quite a lot, are these quite a lot of crystals. Is that actually good? 1400 crystals. And yeah, you get these chips as well, don't you? Yeah, it probably makes sense now for me to be getting these, now that I don't need to save the crystals. And there was one for level 40. Yeah, I'm going to have loads of good stuff here. This is all useful stuff as well. Gets a bit expensive, level 2300. wishes to get level 5. 5 star alpha mouse and 2 chips. Yeah, I mean, I got, I really did, she really did drop early, and there was one for level 60, Jesus Christ. Alright, that's all of those packs. Yeah, now that I, so now I've got 128 outfit tokens. 
Yeah, so I could get Alice's outfit. So I don't know whether to hold off or just get her. Because the thing is, right? Oh, interestingly, you can buy the maid outfit for crystals, but... But we're never going to use her. But I feel like I will use Alice at some point, probably. Because I want to try... I do want to have a... I probably do want to try the speed cleave thing just for once, maybe, at some point. Because if a, if a character that I like and or use gets an outfit in here, I'll probably just I'll probably just pay real money for it because I don't really want. So I might get that Alice outfit. Yeah, I've only I've only held off on this stuff for so long because I wanted to I wanted to guarantee myself a Luisa, but I've got it now, so. Please confirm outfit, outfit purchase queen in mirror. There we go. Yeah, that is that does look good. That looks that looks good. Alright, it's changed now. Go on in. Hey hey! She is. Hey! Who? Cool. Uh, it was Neo before. Yeah, I think Neo's still there, isn't she? I bought it. It's all right. I almost have enough for a new skin now. Uh. Yeah, that did, so that did cost me quite a few crystals, because I had like 20-something thousand, so that did cost me quite a few crystals, getting all that stuff. But, if we look now, I just got a lot of chips. <gasps> okay, I can reset this cooldown, I think I'll do it. Seven, and then I still have two left. I'm going to do it, I'm going to reset a cool. I'm going to re reduce her cooldown. Okay, and then I can either do damage plus 10% on her S2 or damage plus 10% on her S1. I'd rather get more healing, but I guess I can't. Uh, probably go with her S2, I guess. Okay, so we just got Luisia to. 4, 5 and max. And this reset a cool by cooldown for resurrection by one. That's huge. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, I probably got a lot of robots and stuff, but that's that's nice and down now. Yeah, 140. Yeah, so the okay, so the thing I was running short on was robots to do these ascensions because I want to clean these up as well. But yeah, I've got to wait for more robots to drop for that. Jesus, look at how many robots I've got now. Nuts amounts of robots, and I still got loads of cat. Look at all these cat balls I've still got left. Man, there's not as many as there was. I got two million coins now almost. Okay, right, so now she should do more damage on her S2 attack. And better than that, her resurrection skill. Has now been reduced by one t one cooldown. So in that last fight where I lost and she wasn't wearing a speed set, that might have turned around if that was the, if she was only one cooldown away. And she could have brought someone back.
It's just so OP. Yeah, also thinking about it as well, when I was doing mutation waypoint earlier, none of my none of my other units are wearing like PvE gear right now. They're still kitted out for PvP to be fair. So yeah, that probably wasn't the best build to be taken in there in first place. Dark Deep <laughs> Dark Deep looks like an umbrella. <laughs> Have you got it already? Do you have already? Yeah, oh my god. You're speed farming this event. Are you not taking in the story? I suppose you, you can take it in through my stream, but um... <laughs> Raja City. A new target has emerged, Esther. Beep! Images received. This is Dark Deep. You don't look too surprised. That person has been telling everyone that she'll figure out the truth. It seems like she indeed has the cards in her hands. But she's so dumb that she can't even speak the human language. She can be handled in no time. Such confidence, huh? Then why don't you take a look at the next image? I bet you'll cry out, enjoy! Asta swipes on the display screen without paying too much attention, but only seconds after, her finger freezes right above the screen. Ha 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 ha! Yep, that's the reaction I wanted to see. It's not possible! Lou would never associate herself with this kind of people. Why don't you go ask her yourself whether it's true or not? Inside a house in the inland safe zone. Is there another incident of the same kind? Yeah, I'm sorry you visit so abruptly, but could you go over your memory of the timeline with me again? In fact, my memories of that time are all in pieces. I can only vaguely remember a cold voice telling me weird phases like magic cause become a puppet. A magical girl, huh? When I regained my consciousness, my brain was almost acting on conditional reflexes, and I subconsciously resisted to return to St. Vivian Academy. Although I told my parents and the cops about this, I didn't have any evidence to prove any of my stories, and also thought that I was just too stressed. Then, do you still remember how you were rescued? Rescued? Hold up, I remember there was a flyer somewhere. She walks up to the bookshelf and takes out an old flyer of a ballet expedition, exhibition match, from one of the books. It was this girl who took me to the hospital. This is... Alicia? Oh, well, I didn't see that coming. In the home of Luisia. I love her. What? Do you keep saying this is her home? What does she live in the street? Is she homeless or something? Dark Deep should have already made it to the destination. Then I'm no longer needed, I guess. Lou? You're home, Alison. How is the investigation operation with that little girl going? It wasn't easy for me to remember my lines and act in the play. I... I ducked out. I exposed my ability in front of Dark Deep. Perhaps she already knows the truth behind the missing person's cases. Or perhaps she's holding a grudge against me for not telling her the truth and involving her in danger. You're putting everything on your shoulder again, Lou. But I am indeed responsible for some parts of it. Then go ahead and claim the responsibility. She just lies in that junction and hopes people don't run her over. Well, maybe she can resurrect herself if they do. Since you've already ducked out once, don't make another mistake to make things worse. The best way to stop the situation from deteriorating is to cut your losses while it's not too late. Is it still not too late now? There's no such thing as too late. Wait, you just said don't. There's no such thing. Why would you wait till... Thank you for visiting me. I'm sorry that I never came forward. You've done your best already. Don't worry. I will stop. There! An angry roar is followed by a fast-moving figure that rushes past Dark Deep. A magical girl? Where's Loisia? Are you Asta? How come she's also a magical girl? 
Hold up. Tell me first why you attack me. That deep, that voice I heard. The girl who is hiding behind the door hears Asta's voice and starts shaking involuntarily. Is she the one with is she is the one with the cold voice? What? So it's you, huh, Asta? The truth behind the rumors around disappearances. <gasps> I thought you already had it all figured out since you never shut up about your investigation. It seems like Asta hasn't noticed there's someone behind the door. Akdeep quietly closes the door, transforms and points to Asta, who is floating in the air. Get out of here, Asta. This is not the place to fight. Huh. Are you going to still resist? Come get some men. Oh, fights on! Fights on! I wish I had Dark Deep now, so I could take her in to fight with Luisia. Oh, that would be awesome. That's fine, I'll wait. I'll wait. That would be awesome. Uh, how is Dark Deep? Have you tried it yet? I wonder if she works well with Luisa. I suppose Luisa isn't like designed to synergize with anyone in particular. <sighs> yeah, she's gonna synergize well with Ginger because Ginger dies a lot. <laughs> Luisa synergizes really well with Ginger because Ginger just likes to die. <laughs> I have got the toilet. I'm uh, still setting up my EX3 uh, fan with it right now. Are you are you gonna go full constellation as well? Or are you just gonna get the one copy? You must you must spend a lot of energy getting the full constellations, and I, I wonder if it's worth it. For some characters, it probably is. For others, maybe not. <laughs> I thought you were a lot stronger than this. Damn it. Why is everyone more powerful than I am? Because you're a four star. <laughs> I guess that's the result of all these years of training on how to plot against others. Uh, always full constellation because it looks pretty. <laughs> Actually, you know what though? That's that'll be why you're so high up in the um, raid thing, and why I'm so low at it. Because obviously we we have like opposite play styles in a way, right? You like you like try and raise everybody, and I like abandon <laughs> ninety percent of my I abandon ninety percent of my children. Not ninety percent of my children are just like in the mines, <laughs> and only ten percent get to go to college. <laughs> Favoritism. What against others? I've been protecting them. That's ridiculous. I've never seen anyone that makes others lose their memories in order to protect them. You talk way too much. It's time to take you out. But a second before Asta Lanza hit, a white staff appears in front of Dark Deep and blocks the attack. <sighs> Who? Who could this be? I wonder. Oh my god, a white staff. Let me think. Uh, white staff. 
white stuff. Oh, it's Luke Skywalker. Ah, stop it, Asta. Oh my God, it's Luisia. Oh my God, I didn't see that. I didn't see that coming. Oh my God, what a plot twist. Oh my God, the writing in this is just so, it's just always on, your, on the edge of your seat. You know, it's just so good. Are you alright, Dark Deep? I'm fine. Astra is the culprit behind the disappearances of those students, Luisia. Hmm. I see Lou. You've been hiding it from me so you could stop me through this, idiot. What? Luisia stands there without saying a word and looks at Dark Deep in sorrow. Have you always known who the culprit is, Luisia? I... It seems like you haven't told this idiot about anything. Or were you planning to put everything on my shoulder? No, I only wanted to stop you and never thought about passing the book. What exactly are you people talking about? I'm sorry, Dark Deep. I'm scared to use my powers because I've hurt others in the past because of it. Hurt? You indeed still cannot understand what's going on with that useless brain of yours. Liu once tried to suppress a magical girl who went berserk, but the power of her staff ran as wild as it possibly could. Roger City. Watch out! Are you okay, Liu? How can this be, Asta? Luisha with blurred vision looks at the magical girl who is already unconscious and lying on the ground. Did I kill her? Don't be scared. Listen, you have to get out of here now. I'll clean this up for you. Am I going to die too, Asta? No, I'm not going to let you die. Grab onto me. We're leaving here. She's not only caused the death of that magical girl, but she almost put herself in the line of fire as well. That's why I needed to hunt you down, you magical noobs, who are not able to control your cause. Hey, Peeks, you magical noob. <laughs> You've never told me about this, Louisia. <laughs> Look carefully, Lou. It was me who got there in time to stop the situation from deteriorating. I'm the one who has been sharing your burden. I'm the only one who can accept you. Whoa. What gives you the right to call me a culprit, Dark Deep? Lou is actually the cause of the disappearances. Everything I did was only to make sure that they didn't repeat her mistake. Luisha says nothing to counter Asta's claims and lets Asta reveal her past as she waits for Dark Deeps to go off. Keep your chin up, Emissary, Emissary of Light. Why doesn't she just call her Lou or Luisha? You just want me to say Emissary of Light, which you know I... Bloody mouthful. Huh? I'm never going to believe any of the crap that you just said, Asta. Luisha is definitely not the kind of weak and cowardly person as you described. What did you say? Luisha is still trying to do all she can to stop you, even while she's burdened by such a tragic past. And that symbolizes her courage. Dirty. I believe in you, Luisha. Although I wasn't a part of your past. In my memory of you, you are definitely not the person described by Asta. Plus, the fact that you're standing here already means that you have the determination to fight her. Yeah. Lou, I was the one who helped you first. Are you going to fight against me now with her? Are you going to forget all about the past? I didn't forget. I will never forget. And I always remember the pain of those magical girls by heart. And that's exactly why I need to stop you. For all the magical girls who you've taken the cause from! Luisha raises the staff and slowly lets out a gentle glow. This is the power of... Friendship? <laughs> you, made, you made me realize that there's... There isn't only the power of destruction in this world, Dark Deep. Since I cannot control the power of destruction, then I'll use the power of protection. 
Arcdeep is covered by the light from head to toe. Surprisingly, the wounds on her body start to heal rapidly. This is the same feeling when Luisha healed my wound earlier. But she has grown so much more powerful in such a short time. Yeah, I gave her lots of chips and stuff. I had the cat ball saved up and all kinds of stuff. Don't worry about it. Every single one of my veins is covered by a flow of hot heat. It feels like I have an infinite amount of energy in my body. Dark Deep! You bastard! Watch out, Dark Deep! I'm not fighting alone anymore, Asta! Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. It reminds me of Romeo and Juliet. You know, Dark Deep and Loisha. Well, it's funny, on my screen, I just see the puppet walk up and poke Dark Deep in the eye, and she explodes. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, man. I got another cake for you, Loisha. Oh, I, don't, I actually can't wait to get a spin to it. I just noticed Kigari is the only one on my team now who has any colour in her hair. I've <laughs> got white hair except for Kigari. I need to find a red DPS with white hair. Where is Is that one? Oh, look at this. <laughs> I could call them the white heads or something. <laughs> the white heads! <laughs> the white heads! <laughs> Dark Deep. Dark Deep swings her staff. Aster is then covered in a dark cloud of smoke and soon loses the strength and drops to the ground. Uh, no, you cannot betray me, Lou. I was the one who stopped you from making things worse. I also was the one who had you under protection. That magical girl didn't die, Asta. I was the one who took her to the hospital and arranged for her to leave Raja City. She's currently still alive in this world. What? You never told me. Magic isn't just such a scary thing. We're given a purpose once we've been chosen. You've been clouded by your obsession for too long, Asta. I did nothing wrong. To accept the magical cause means they are willing to become my puppets. I did what I did to protect them from turning into puppets and protect you too. You're so radical. You will never understand. Asta sees an opportunity and uses all her remaining strength to kick up the dust. Luisa and Dark Deep instinctively cover their eyes. When the dust settles and they open their eyes, Aster is already in the wind. Crap! 
She escaped. She has already exposed herself, so she'll probably think twice about making another move. I do hope she doesn't make another move. Thank you for believing in me, Dark Deep. Mm. Do I look like some idiot who would be easily convinced by others? A student who has gone missing told me that you were the one who took her to the hospital. Plus, I could tell from hanging out with you during this period of time that you're not a treacherous person like that. Thank you. But I won't let you off easily for hiding things from me and using me for your advantage. You have to promise me that you'll protect those magical girls and never duck out again. Okay, I promise you. I didn't plan on using you. And I actually set it up so you could have dirt on me. Nurse Allison is actually my sister. Huh? So you've had it planned all along since the beginning. I only wanted to help you get the truth quicker, since Aster is not only meticulous, but also very radical. To interfere directly was the only way to stop her. That's why I had to guide you like that. To give you hints. I'm sorry. You! Have a go at me, Dark Deep. I've already prepared myself for that. Before I got here. I love it. She's such a... She's such a little manipulative little bitch. <laughs> Have I got at you? Forget it. We'll just call it... We'll just call it even since I threatened you when we first met. And are we still going to be friends when we're in school later? I think it's still better if you don't talk to me when we're in school. Don't read too much into it. It's just that I'll definitely be talked about if I hang out with a popular figure like you. I've already had enough of that. But you know, once in a while and in private, we could still have a little chat. Haha, <laughs> okay, Dark Deep. <laughs> what? What the fuck? They're like BFFs all throughout this, and then at the end it's like, actually, I manipulated you all along. This was all part of my evil plan. I'm sorry. Do you still want to be friends? Actually, uh, <laughs> thanks. You lying bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Lucia will take her on rainy days so she don't get rained on. Yeah, umbrella go. <laughs> Loading. Two unread messages. Playing first message. Contact note, Luisia. Stop messing around, Esther. What study's done? By now, a lot more people should have already heard that you're the culprit behind the disappearances. If you dare to make your move again, you won't be fighting only the magical girls. You can still redeem yourself. Playback is now over. <laughs> Playing second message. Contact note, teacher. I told you long ago to leave no survivors. Now you have to pay for being overly sympathetic. Our plan shouldn't be stopped because of this. Friendship is only something the kids would care about. It's time to let go. Playback is now over. Oh, we're back in her house. After school at St. Vivian Academy. It's been so bothered again since the Academy cleared the air about the disappearances. Huh? Oh, what is that? Dark Deep in her magical girl form flies over the St. Vivian Academy at a low altitude, leaving only a faint image of herself to the students. Whoa! A magical girl! Huh? Oh, hold up, that person looks kind of familiar. In the hallway of the art building at St. Vivian Academy, Luisha practices her moves alone for a dance that's meant for duet, and she pays zero attention to the figure outside the door. Classes have ended long ago. Dark Deep! Luisha makes the last pose perfectly, then turns around and looks towards Dark Deep, who is posing by the door. Hmm, not bad, the emissary of light, for being able to detect my presence. I thought you said you were going to keep a distance from me. You might get caught by the others for talking to me at school. Of course, I'm not willing to talk to you in front of humans, but... I feel the calling of destiny that you and I are deemed to have a clash. It seems like you haven't given this much thought, huh? But I didn't... Didn't I already say that I will never use the power of destruction ever again? Instead of hurting others with my ability, 
I'd rather be protecting others. This is what I should do instead. It is a difficult world to live in. What if I encounter danger? I'll protect you if you're in danger, Dark Deep. Ah, it's not like that. Dark Deep looks down and doesn't look rec reconciled. She clenches her fists really tight and doesn't say a word for a long while. I know that you're not willing to use your powers again, Luisha. But in all sincerity, I'd like to challenge you to a duel. I don't want to admit it, but my strength is indeed not powerful enough. If I don't know my own limits and run into someone like Aster again... Anyways, I'm asking for one duel. Show me how much powerful you are than... Show me how much more powerful you are than me. Only this once. I never expected Dark Deep to say something in such a serious manner. All right, Dark Deep. Let's go somewhere out in the open and smash your fucking head in. Thank you, Luisia. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Let's go and smack her head in. お手並み。背景に出しますね。隠れて無駄です。全てが私の計算通りです。実力の差を見せてやる。<laughs> she didn't even <laughs> She didn't even get a go After the lopsided duel ends That wasn't a duel, that was a complete massacre <laughs> <laughs> That's way too much. Are you alright, Dark Deep? Did I just stop your arms? I thought I let you. This is so. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> I thought I let out only a little bit of power. I'm sorry, I couldn't control it. <laughs> yeah, right. Are your injuries serious? Let me heal you right now. Wait. <laughs> You, you didn't go all out in that jewel. How powerful are you exactly? Dark Deep lifts her head up in disbelief and meets Luisha's eyes and Lu as Luisha anxiously tries to heal her. Hmm, it's okay. There's no way I'd be defeated this easily by the power of darkness. I've figured out the limit of power from today's jewel. It seems like the power of light that cleanses sins isn't as powerful as I imagined. Phew, the healing seems to be working. You were crying out in pain though, Dark Deep. Shut up. That's exactly why I cannot be a coward and stay alongside you for long, Luisha. Destiny made us cross paths briefly, but you and I are deemed to not travel together. Auntie. A past of greatness awaits me. I shall become even stronger and return as a raging tide of shadows. Let us grow in our own fields. We'll meet again someday. Yeah. But you're also a student at St. Vivian Academy, Dark Deep. We'll see each other tomorrow. Aren't you coming to school tomorrow? You receive D's in four of the subjects and have another penalty to deal with. What's going to happen if you continue to skip school? Uh, uh, I'll see you around, Emissary of Light. Louise is just a bully. She just acts nice. Dark Deep, with her face turning completely red, turns around and flies out of Luisha's sight at the speed of light. Remember to come to school tomorrow, Dark Deep! <laughs> She's always like that. Luisha turns her head, looks into the distance and mumbles to herself. Isn't she, Asta? 
The double crossing. Oh, she's such a... You know how you see one cross on her? Well, what you don't see is the double... She's actually got double crossing. She's got one on her back as well that you can't see. She's a double crosser. Sneaky Louisa. She's been in cahoots with Asta the whole time, I bet. Uh, tomorrow my phone will be close to beaming full. Yeah, keep making sure you put, put, put plenty of beans in it. Uh, especially if you're going on a long trip. The more beans you put in your phone, the longer it will last. You've been download downloading too many uh, gacha games. Nah, I knew, I knew what you meant. I was just wide open. <laughs> it's that evil Louisa. Rubbing off on me. She's sneaky and manipulative and she's a double crosser. He just acts nice. Alright, I'm finally on the EXs. EX2. Let's grab these, one of these. I just realized she's the color of egg. Her phone is 64 gigabytes. Um, so if you've got a, because if you've got an iPhone, you won't be able to expand that, will you? But if you've got an Android, and most Androids have like a memory card folder. So are you an Android or, a, or an iPhone? Who's the color of egg? Louisa. Color of egg. Egg wise. Uh, so you're an android. Um, yeah. Well, the good thing about android is you could always get another another memory card, couldn't you? I know some some phones won't support like the bigger cards, um, but you might be able to uh, stick some stuff on a second card or something maybe if you are struggling. <laughs> White and yellow egg. I don't know. Where's the yellow one? The yellow is. Oh yes, the yellow. All right, I see. It does kind of look. That's supposed to be a halo on egg. It does kind of look a bit like an egg. <laughs> yeah, I guess I see what you mean now. So who's this? That's obviously um, Asta. That's not Dark Deep though, is it? Who the hell is this supposed to be? Maybe that's what the bully's supposed to look like. Uh, some micro SDs don't support all the phones. Yeah, uh, what I'm saying though is if you got yourself, you could always get yourself a second card maybe. Save you from having to re-download stuff all the time. Because I think I used to do that with stuff like my Switch and stuff like that. If I could afford a bigger card, I'd have like some games on one phone, out on one card, 
and then the other games on another card and stuff like that. So it's always an option. It's all, I'm just pointing out it's at least you can do that with an Android, whereas with an iPhone you're completely stuck, aren't you? <clears throat> Trying to cheer you up. Not working. Uh, Dark Deep and Alicia. No, that's not Dark Deep and Alicia. Because one of them's Asta. The grey haired girl. I don't know who that is. The brown haired girl's Asta though. Oh, is that EX3? Can we, I made light work of that. Jesus, that was EX3. Yeah. And she doesn't even need to use a resurrection. I suppose that's the best way to play though, really, is like... Yeah, she should be healing enough with her S1 and her S2 to be valuable really because if she's having to rely on her S3 too much then it, yeah people are dying that's not good um which is why she's one of the few characters who I would say if I was behind this game like if I was developing this game I would say okay with a character like that you can make her animation like a lot longer than the other animations because if you think about it there's if people are playing her right they shouldn't be seeing her s3 all that often so i would probably say that the animation team hey make this one a bit longer you know make it a bit make it a bit flashier because this is like a really special skill that the player doesn't get to see very often so you know go all out which is why i'm a bit disappointed with how plain and boring it is but you know yeah, because I like really you shouldn't see it that often if you're playing it well because you only really need it as the last emergency part of call. It's just annoying how our AI works. I wish there was like I want a mix of these two things. So if we look at how our AI works, let me just bring it up again. We're in a battle. What does this do? Oh, that's <laughs> auto farm. Uh, yeah, take away your units and do level ups on dog or walking. Uh, take away your units to level up on Dr. Walkie. Yeah, Claudia animation is like insanely too long. Oh, her animation looks crap as well. The way she moves her arms looks so unnatural and so lazy. It reminds me of those kids things you used to see where they'd use like cardboard cutouts and the characters would like just be pieces of cardboard moving. Yeah, I think Claudia's animation sucks. It looks so unnatural. It just looks good at um, so my issue with Luisa's AI is I want a mix of these, right? I want her to do it on, on both of these conditions. I want her to use this either when a character falls below 30% HP, because she'll give them a full heal in that instance, or if a character has fallen, which is basically what this translates to. 
but I can eat I can only have one or the other so when I put it on this one she wasn't reviving fallen characters I suppose because technically speaking there wasn't an alive character with less than 30% HP but surely shouldn't a fallen character count as a character with less than 30 HP but that's not the way it's been programmed which seems kind of dumb to me Very so I'm a little bit mad about this as well because I want I can I wanted to do it on when this or this this would be an or statement if I was coding it myself. But this stupid interface doesn't let me do that. So it means I've either got to have a set to resurrect or set to heal, but I really should we do it on either one of those? I'll leave it on that for now. So I don't, I don't know which one's the best one to have it on. I think she's going to be better to play manually anyway. But I suppose if she's if she's better at PvP and not as good at PvE. Probably doesn't matter that much anyway, because I'm, I'm going to be playing PvE manually anyway. But yeah, that, yeah they, those AI options suck. Because I wanted, I wanted to do it on either of if either of those conditions had been met. But it doesn't let me do that. But stuff like this, it shouldn't really matter because it's probably going to be so easy. She's just going to build, everyone's going to build those over anyway. Alright, so I want to get the gold chips, don't I? So I can get one now. Uh, shit, how many do I get for one of those runs? Do you know how many you get per run? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna need loads anyway, aren't I? But I still wanna... Uh, forty. Thanks. I can never remember whether it's forty or sixty. Um. Yeah, that might not be the best set for it, but. It works better than the healing set, I think. So it's better. I think it's better to double down on speed for. Her. Does she have a guide? What are they saying? A guide? Yeah, Luisha Khan's low base speed. Gear set recommendation: two HP and a defense set. What? 
just keep her alive. All HP and defense. All the HP and defense to she can survive in the wild wild west of PvP. I think it's supposed to say so she can survive. So HP and defense sets so she can survive in the in the world of PvP. A bit of speed to make up for her low base speed. That's not a very particularly helpful or good guide. Ah, they expect you to use her in Bruiser Meta. Yeah, I mean, well, you, you've seen how I play. I have multiple builds for multiple purposes as well. But I like to start with a general build. That's the way I've done all the other characters. To start with, like, a general... What I think is a good all-purpose build. And then figure out where to tweak different... Branch off different sets and tweak them in different areas. She's doing pretty good with this set, though. I don't think counter engine is necessarily a good idea. I don't know. I mean, it's not bad counter engine because as she's getting damage, she's she's basically going to be moving along the action bar, which eventually, like over time, and that is going to reset her cooldowns quicker. Okay, so she needs two chips for that next upgrade, or three chips for this next upgrade. Yeah, I'd rather do her S2 actually. But there's only two chips in that event anyway. Uh, it would be nice if they put PvE in PvP recommended stats instead of just assuming you already have. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, it's a, well, I think that's the way these games are. Again, I think I think I play this game differently to how most people play the games. Most people play them as like collectathon games where they collect lots of characters, use them for lots of very distinct purposes, which is why you see the same speed cleave team everywhere. Um, that's just not how I want to play. Um, but yeah, it's it does it it is very sh shallow, I suppose. But they've got a lot of characters to cover, so I yes. I don't think that's Loisia. That's definitely not either of them. That one's that's uh what's the face? I've got the name on. Right, so you get 40 per run. Uh so that's gonna put me at 370. Yes, yeah, so I need to I need to do two runs to get the next chip. So if I do uh, has she got white hair and gold eyes? Same as her. It looks more grey though, and then, I don't know. Also, it doesn't seem like she'd be wearing that outfit, and I don't know, it seems a bit dodgy that she is, if it is her. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't even look like her either as a character or anything, but then sometimes they do that in this game, like some of these weird other images they have of characters do look vastly different to the actual characters. I don't know.
And they only give her an air rating in reds. I uh, just noticed Erica's little bird flies next to her in battle. Oh, does it? I haven't really used it that much. Have you even added a description for the character yet? Uh, I don't think Tower of Fantasy downloads. Up yet, is it? I just said one day before, so I imagine we probably get an email. That was for closed beta. Okay, someone's reported on it. A step-by-step -step guide to the preload Tower of Fantasy. What, only on Android and iOS? Judging by over 4 million pre-registered users. Shoot. Uh, yeah, I level up Goya, Erica, Darty, 250 in EX right now. Ah. Yeah, there you go. I don't, I don't know if you still hear peaks. 5 p.m. in Australia, which makes sense because it is. I think it is coming out the same time everywhere. Now you give me 100 extra feathers. Yeah. Right, and then the next thing I would want is Dark Deep properly. Are we getting a lot of robots from this? Ah, you are still here. Yeah, they, well, there you go, Peaks. I was just going to show you that. 5 p.m. Uh, 5 p.m. You get it. Australia. Uh, this doesn't mention how you pre download on PC, though. Oh, PC. Oh, no, it just gives minimum requirements. This doesn't say how to pre download it on PC. I would assume they're going to either send us a link or they'll put a link up on the website, maybe. Oh, how to pre download Tower of Fantasy on PC. That's not true. We can't pre download on Steam or Epic. Because it's not coming out till later in the year on those platforms, so this article is wrong already. It doesn't come to, us, to Steam and Epic until much later, so that's not true. However, PC players who are desperately waiting will have to head to the official site during the launch to access a standalone launch of the upcoming Gacha game. So 
they, they don't really know, I think they're just assuming, and some of their information is wrong. So... Check out server names suggested by Wonders. Oh, do we have to pick a server name as well? So we'll have to make sure we're on the same server as well. There will be around 10 servers open first after the game launches, and the rest of the names will be used when more servers open up in the future. These are all Europe region. So there's going to be ten. There's going to be ten servers on Europe. Yeah. So we'll we'll need to make sure we pick uh, pick the same ones then. If we're all anyone who wants to obviously jump in and play together. Uh, yeah. Robots XP points. Purple chips. Yeah, I need some robots uh, just so I can uh, send some of my other characters now. Don't know, I think. So even if I spent twenty dollars, I couldn't max level our chips. I'd get ten of twelve. Wasn't there a pack that had more chips in it? Uh, if you got a four left, you can probably level her up. Yeah, then you set the farm it after she hit 50. Uh, oh, it's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind how long it takes because I just leave it running in the background anyway. So it's just it's run, It's only running in the background anyway. Yeah, I've got no problem farming it. I was just wondering if I get. I only wondered if we were getting good robot drops because I need bottle robots to level up my weaker characters now that I've got constellations on them because obviously if you don't if you don't use them as ascension materials then you don't get the well they cost you more fodders you can get the skill link and ascension in one go can't you if you use it as fodder so it makes sense to do it that way but I just need more fodder robots to do it um, I don't think there's any other way for me to get chips. EX is easy enough for one character to beat solo. Yeah, exactly. Oh god, it's easy as. Um, I'm, this one seems even easier than a normal EX3. So I'm wondering how much of that is like Luisa helping, or how much of it is just that it's an easy battle. Anyway, I'm not sure. Uh... 
Cookies Part 2. Was this your uh, playthrough today? I thought you were gonna show up. Are you gonna sh you don't get it, do you? I'm gonna go with that. You got two? Holy shit, yeah, you did. Oh, you did say you got two five stars. Yeah, so that'll be an extra constellation you'll have for uh, Shinobu then. Ah, so you actually made a new account and went on EU server. Uh, Quinn has that weird buff. Yeah, Quinn's Quinn's really good in PvP, actually. Yeah, she does like her uh, turn stealing stuff. She'll give Grant like bonus turns and stuff, and she does something with time action bar or something. I don't know. Yeah, I always have to take her out quite quickly. Uh, it cut off three videos. Ah, oh, I know, but ah, oh, peaks. I saw you get your two five stars. Uh, right, so I need to do main quest stages. Actually, let's do let's do the hardest. Let's do the hardest one because this was really tricky. Actually, I think this one was quite hard. New chapter eight hard boss fight was pretty tricky I mean to be fair for my for this account it wasn't too bad but on the other account I got it really really took quite a bit let's see how she does anyhow uh, did you do your dark deep bonus quest thing at the top left yet no not yet Second part was over 10 minutes. What? You want you don't surely you don't want me to sit and watch a 10 minute video on stream, do you? Did you get did you do more polls? Uh, it's like the Queen set quest, so snap to it. Probably take a few days to complete. Oh, so we get a new uh, cute gear set. So I'm trying to remember what the Queen set quest was. I can't remember. Jimmy. Oh, I think I get what you're saying. Are you saying that your upload... Are you saying that the upload failed or something and cut some of your content out of it? Putting it all those squares by doing like random objectives. Oh, right, I see. Another one of these scratch and sniff things. <laughs> scratch offs. Uh, right, okay, so how do I want it to be here? Probably just resurrect if someone falls away. I don't know. Uh, 
ては私の計算。Right, do we want to kill the boss or the ads and then the boss? Oh, he's gonna die easy. I don't like always say he, like, there isn't a single male character in this game, is there? This is like basically a universe with no males. I always say he. Well, that was how that shows Jesus Christ. That shows how much more powerful this account is than my other account. Jesus Christ. It didn't even dent me. I struggled so hard with this boss on my other account. Like, it's unbelievable. And that has a Milverse, two, two he healers. This is nuts. Ginger, Milverse, and two healers. Sirius and Kieran, and that boss took so much effort and so many attempts and so much leveling to get there. And my team just walks in and just slaps the shit out of it and doesn't even bat an eyelid. The, the power difference between those two accounts is, is nuts. Wow. Ah, uh, yeah, it doesn't happen overnight though, it takes time, doesn't it? I think it does. Okay, target elimination. So I do want to try and get, I don't know, something for her at some point. I really don't know what to do. So I mean, they're seeing, they're seeing HP. Why HP though? Just to keep her alive, isn't it? I'm pretty sure she doesn't heal scaled off HP. She, she gives them a percentage of their max HP anywhere. So HP would only be to keep her alive. Is defense two or four pieces? Do I have one to check? I feel like defense is only a two piece set. It is a two piece set. Okay, so I could go with speed defense. I think I like that. I think that could work for her. But you'll notice as well, some enemy skills in this game they cut through defense because I've read some of the character's skills in this game and it says basically it completely ignores de like opponent's defense. So maybe I should go maybe I should go HP then. The thing is I could go HP and then what's the difference in the battles? Who drops what? Let's see. Target elimination. So they're all the same anyway. They're all this crazy thing. So I could. It doesn't really make any difference. Yeah, I'll get. Okay, I'll go. I think I'll go for two piece HP. Go for two piece HP, and then I can get lots of defense substats or something. Might make sense. Someone else also suggested immunity. How many is an immunity? Immunity is also a two-piece set. I think it would depend who I'm fighting. Immunity... You can see how immunity would be beneficial. I suppose with immunity, right, you can't gain immunity through substats. But you can gain HP and defense through substats. So you could get you could get an immunity set. And then just go heavy on the HP and the defense substats. And then get the advantage of immunity as well. I think the only the only problem with that is I think immunity is a different fight. Oh yeah, but I can do all of those as well, so it shouldn't be too bad. So maybe I will go immunity. Got discount tickets as well. Okay, so what pieces do I need for her? I need a engine 
an engine and a shield. Okay, that's easy. Engine and shield immunity. That would be this super easy fight. Okay. Let's do this once to see what she looks like in this fight. Um No, it's not that one, it's like beat stage 210 five times. Oh yeah, no, I'm just doing my main missions right now. I'm just doing my dailies. And I also want to think about what I want to get for her as well, so I'm, I'm kind of doing two things at once right now. Yeah, this should be so easy. Uh, TikTok cut three videos out because it was over 10 minutes. Yeah, maybe the... Oh, TikTok, yeah, TikTok might have a time limit. I'm sure I read somewhere, though, that TikTok was experimenting with longer form videos now. I don't know how true that is. Also, you have dark, deep bosses to fight, love, black rose and chocolate, and all that still, if you want to. Oh, I'm going to do it all, don't you worry. I'm going to do it all. I'm going to do it all. Um... Yeah, at the moment I'm just going back to dailies because I also wanted to have a look at to see what I would want to drop from target elimination. What would I change about her? And I think I will swap counter engine for immunity. I don't know because I can see how counter engine. Again, I think it depends who I'm fighting, right? So if I'm fighting Milvus in PvP, I would go immunity. Because that way I can guarantee that I won't get frozen by Milvus' freeze thing. But if I'm fighting anybody else, I think I'd stick with counter engine. Especially units that do like regular AoE damage. You know, like Grace and stuff like that. Because every time she hits me, it's going to push me along the action bar. Which is going to be really nice. So that's why I like the counter engine set. But, immunity would be good against someone like Milvus, because Milvus does that freeze thing, right? And if she gets you with that, you're fucked. So that would make me immune to that for at least one turn, I think. Okay, I got two crits. Great. That's fine. I just wanted to... Yeah, she's... It doesn't look like she's going to struggle with any of the content. They say she's A rank PvE. What did they give Heeran? Heeran's trash. Like, I don't think, I don't think it's fair to rank units as if it's a one size fits all. Like, you should be ranking, they should be comparing her to the other healers. Because you've got to remember she's a healer, right? You can't rank healers like they're DPS units because they're not fucking DPS units. So, to give her an A rating, I disagree with that already. Um, but let's see what they gave Heron for PvE. <laughs> they think she's an S rank for PvE. I would strongly disagree with that. Now, I don't know. I'll be honest. Jury's still out. I don't know if she's better than Heron for PvE. But Heron's pretty trash at PvE. She's not even great at PvP, to be completely honest. Freaking Terminator Morris is impressive. She's definitely not better than that. So, she should get ranked about the same as Morris, and that's being generous. So, to give Luisia a... what is it, an A for PvE? Uh, I don't know about that. Not if you're giving... especially not if you're giving Heron an S. She's certainly not worse than Heron. Definitely not. Definitely not. Um... So I think they're they're not they're not ranking them as healers, they're ranking them as general units, and you can't do that with a healer. A healer's a healer, a healer's not meant to do damage, a healer's supposed to keep you alive, heal you. Are they doing that good? If they are, then they're they're brilliant, they're great, they're good. Um but I think a lot of these people rank it's like when they shout all over buddy Kokomi when she came out of Genshin. Like she was she was awesome from the get-go, to be honest, but everybody was ranking her as a DPS unit, saying, oh, she doesn't do any damage. It's like, well, so what? She's a fucking healer. You don't need her to do damage. You have three other slots for your DPS. Like, fill those and you'll be fine. It just annoys me. Ah, 
Healers are healers, don't forget that. People do. People think healers should be like DPS units, but they shouldn't. Alright, anyway, rant over. Um, last three videos are uploading now, so I will supply the link when it's ready. She's probably air rank because she doesn't have time shit like Morris and Heron. Uh, neither does, well, Heron doesn't. Heron gets a little speed buff. I think she does from older ultimate equipment now, but she didn't, she doesn't out of the box. She doesn't out of the box. Uh, and I didn't know Morris did at all, to be honest. That's news to me. I didn't know Morris did stuff at the time. Interesting, I never knew that. Uh, interesting. Okay, upgrade, upgrade gear once, and then PvP, that's going to be fun. But I'm tempted to do something, because she, cause she dropped early, and I shouldn't. I'm tempted. Let me just think about this. I just want it to be all she can be. I don't want to be fun to for it yet. That's that's a pretty good set on it to be fair. It's pretty good. Okay, let me just see if I think it's worth it. She needs three chips there. Three chips there. So I could give her 10% healing. Okay, I could get 20% healing more out of her from one chip pack. Because I think I'd get six chips in a pack. That would give her an extra 10% healing both on her S1 and her S2. And then the next upgrades I don't care about as much because it's 10% damage. That sounds good to me. Then I just have to buy one pack. Because two packs wouldn't get it maxed out anywhere because she'd be two ship chips short. But these are only damage these are only damage buffs anywhere, which I don't care as much about. I do care about the healing though. I do care about the healing. Alright, I said I would never do this. But She did drop very early, very early, and I was prepared to spend ten dollars on a ten pull if I needed to do it together. This way, I get I get her healing maxed out, which is which is good. So I'm going to spend the ten dollars. Got to do it. Right, let me just hide my screen. Just going to ask me for passwords and stuff. I said I wasn't going to do this, but I'm making an exception. Wait a minute, that gives me five chips. I need six. Oh fuck this. Why is it only give me five chips for a tenner? What a rip off! I'm happy. This is the this is the stupid thing. I'm actually well, I'm not happy, but I will make an exception, and I will buy this if I can do her two skills. But this only gives me five chips, so I'll still be one shot. So now I don't want to spend the money unless I can get a chip from somewhere else. But I don't think I can. Because I already bought the one with crystals, which is now on a one month cooldown. Uh, regular supply. I already got that. I don't see anything in missions anywhere. I did badge exchange. I did military supply. I did sample exchange. I did a regular supply. Also the bomb bomb mission thing. Yeah, I got that one already. Yeah, I got that one last night, I think. Well, thank you for the reminder. But yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure I got that one last night. Let me just double check, but I think I did. I remember doing it. I always get it on Monday when it resets. Yeah, there it is. I already got it. Got it and spent it. I got the one out of her event, didn't I? Or did I? Did I get that last one out of her event yet? I think I did. Yeah, I did. If I can just get one more chip, I will buy that, and I'll I'll get a max healed. It's got to be somewhere else I can get one chip from. Could you don't even get him in here? 
Uh, so you turned into a pay to win captain on Audrey. No, a low spender. It's not really pay to win. I mean, if you would call it that, then yeah, sure. But. Yeah, I don't mind spending for it. Like, if I think it's worth it, I, I have limits. Um, is there any chips in here? Ooh, there might be. There might be a chip in here, right? There's probably a chip in here. So I would need to do target elimination 10 times. Okay, let's see if I can get another chip for her. Have you seen step two yet? I've got target elimination nine more times. I think we can do that. Immunity engines. Nine more times. Uh, I will look at the nine square event first. No, I need ten elimination. Uh, oh, is there something else? Nine square event first. Okay, I'll, I'll try and find that next then. I'll do this as well because I want to. I want to try and get her an immunity set anywhere, but only for specific fights. Like I said, I think that would be good against Milvus and anybody who does something nasty like that, where like they can freeze you or disable you in somewhere. And some of the PVE stuff where it's lots of debuffs and like Tentacle, it would be good for someone like Tentacle, Tentacle boss. Uh, but I think I like, I think I do quite like this build that she's got now, for now. I think. I think Counter Engine is a good idea. Because it really did help with hearing. Because she is slow like hearing as well. Like, that is true. And what really helped hearing was sticking that Counter Engine set on her. Because when we get slapped about, she just gets pushed along the action bar. And it just gives her more opportunities to do stuff. Uh, yeah, that is nine square chocolate dark, whatever it's called. Uh, tomorrow for me is Genshin, then Xenoblade three. Jesus Christ, it doesn't even hit me now. It's kind of not so strong as it counts. All right. I just, want to, I just want it to be all she can be before I take her into PvP. And into the red. I mean, I do. I think. I think it's like it. I, uh, these tier, these people take these people take these tier list things way too seriously. I mean, they said that Kagari is C tier in both PVE and in PvP. I'm telling you, right? As long as you use the units right, this is what I was hoping for. This game is that it's been designed well, and it seems to have mostly. But it's got some things that I still, uh, I don't know about the, some of this stuff. But here I am still playing, like, and I can't stop playing. So maybe some of the things that I think are, I wouldn't go that way myself, are actually what's keeping me hooked. I have no idea. But there are plenty of times, right, when Pigari has literally carried my team to victory so many times. And yeah, sometimes I have to tweak her, put a certain set on us. She is squishy because she's just, that's the kind of unit she is. She's like a cleave unit. And she definitely has her weaknesses. But there are, I can't count the number of times where Kagari has really, like, just turned the whole battle around. Many, many times. I, I, I definitely don't think she's C tier. 
But I think you've just got to be smart about how you use her. Uh, there was another update again. Oh, I checked earlier and Tower 5 Fantasy release time is in EDT. Well, I'm, I'm going off. Right, well, first of all, if you go to their website, there's a countdown for everybody because it's coming out everywhere all at once, right? So if you go to the website, you'll see how long it's got to come out for everybody everywhere. And every website I've gone to that lists Tower of Fantasy Times lists Australia as 5 p.m. Every single website, which adds up, right, because of the time difference. If it comes out for 8 a.m. me, then it should be 5 p.m. for you. Um... I've not actually seen this one before. This one's kind of confusing. I wouldn't look at this one. This con this one's confusing. But every other website looked up. Yeah, it lists um, Australia is five p.m. eleventh of August, eight a.m. for us. Uh, Europe is nine a.m. And there's three different time zones in the US, um, uh, which vary slightly. So yeah, the only one you really need to worry about is your own time zone, right? Just Just worry about your own time zone. One day, nine hours, eight minutes left. Yeah, you've, you saw it as well then. Uh, there's another update, what, on Artery Gear? Do you mean an update, like a game update, or do you just mean a Twitter update or something? She was literally in every Ultimate Rare team from like 1 to 40. Who, Kigari? Kigari was, was she? But yeah, I do think, I mean, I do think Ginger's a bit crap in PvP. I will, I will agree to that. I will agree to that. But again, even that's like, it's a difficult thing to say because it's like, is that just because of the teams that... Is everybody's using the same teams as well? Is it just because she's weak against the specific teams that she's facing up against? But no, I do get a feeling that like Ginger's not particularly good at PvP. And no matter what build I put on her, she's always the same. It's always the same weakness. Oh, it kicked me out and made me update. Yeah, I thought you were talking about a game update. Huh. Has, hasn't done it to me yet. Uh, that time is for East Australia. I'm on the opposite side of Australia, so it will be 3 p.m. over here. Ah, okay. I see what you're saying. Ah, right. I see what you're saying. That's weird, because every website I saw only gave one time for Australia. So I didn't even know you guys had different time zones over there. So I just learned something. I think she would be good, but I don't think the game has any red tanks.
Okay, did we get? No, we didn't. I mean, she apparently she likes status resistance, so maybe this maybe this isn't so bad. But uh, I don't know. Maybe that's not too bad for her. Oh, wait! What the hell? Have you ever seen that? What the hell? Have you ever seen that? That doesn't make sense. I've never seen a decimal on a speed number before. It's fifteen point four. Isn't it normally a? Isn't it normally a whole number? Am I going mad? Isn't speed normally a whole number? Fifteen point four. I've never seen. I've never seen a decimal speed digit before. Or am I imagining that? I don't think I'm imagining it. Let's find out. Speed. Hmm? That's boiling. Oh, that's so weird. They do have uh, digits on them. So we can we couldn't see this before. They were showing whole numbers, and now we get to see what the decimal point is on them. That's kind of weird. So since the update, we can now see decimals on speed. It wasn't doing that before. Uh, the update changed the game now. Those green and red new blocks, you can raise your gear stats uh, above normal. Uh, Alright, let's have a look at that then. Uh, yes, we have more than one time zone in Australia, but the other time zones in Australia get dismissed on news websites. So, do you have just two time zones over, over there then? Because you're quite big in Australia, aren't you? It's quite a big place, so... I would imagine you'd have a few time zones. Yeah, it's hard for me to think of, like, in England, because we just have one time zone here. Like, being on a little island and everything, so it's weird to think about America and Australia and, like, where you guys are, having different time zones and stuff. What up? Right, so now we can see decimals on speed, so yeah, that's interesting. So I'll probably lock that one because 15.4 is quite a lot. Um, what was the other one? I was looking for something immunity set, wasn't I? So if I reset this, go back in, change it to immunity set, uh, this one, I'll lock that one as well. But yeah, other than that, there wasn't really anything useful in there. Oh my god, there's quite a few then. So there's uh, AWST, AAST, ADT, ACST, and ACDT. <laughs> the only thing missing is ACDC. <laughs> but you know so far. Well, yeah, that's quite a lot of time zones then. Uh, okay, so what is next? So you said about a chocolate thing, didn't you? Oh, let's see if I can find it. I should probably put this back up to full screen. Um, so you didn't mean this. Is it this? 
Oh, that is that. Okay, so that links us to that. Did you... Were you saying there was something else? Or we... Did you mean the same thing? Upgrade, upgrade one gear to a plus five. do that very easily here. Yeah, so I think you meant that, the one that I'm in, Trish, where I might be able to get a gold chip, chip from. Um... What else do I need to do in here? Main story 210 for five times. Oh yeah, you did mention this. Main story 210 five times. Uh, ultimate raid, bond, bond, battle, deep dark boss fights, one to five. That's all left for the day. Oh, here we used to have AWZT, but the state gave get, got rid of that years ago. Uh, they make it like that so brand new player can participate. Yeah, I just wonder why they pick it. Why? Because they could just say complete any main quest stage, couldn't they? Five times, but I'm just wondering why do they pick that specific level strip? Because like in the in the dailies, when we get that as a daily, it just says complete main quest stages, so you can do anything you want. It looks like it's not loading. Maybe I need that update. I don't think it's loading. Yeah, I think it's frozen. It definitely looks frozen to me. Right, let's go back in. Uh, my game hangs plenty of times before. Yeah, I got it. I got a download. Go west from here and hit the ocean. Yeah, I don't normally get issues with the game. I have to admit, as much as I bloody played it as well. Um, yeah, yeah, it's been pretty good to me. Um, one of the only few things I can think of, yes, got his animation. Um, is Sirius Sirius's animation was glitching a little bit at one point where she was leaving behind like shadow copies of herself from her old animation. Uh, but it would only happen in certain situations. Two of five. Um, and yeah, I've only seen it happen a few times. I don't know whether it's fixed or because it wasn't happening all the time anywhere. Uh, that was probably Chinese character's hotfix.
Uh, so there over here, it was the coldest day of the year so far. But I think it's one of the hottest days of the year so far here. It's absolutely scalding right now. I can't believe it's been nearly six hours of stream already. Uh, 12 p.m. over here was nine degrees, really? See, I always think of Australia as being a really hot country. Yeah, well, the first hour was literally waiting on the game to begin. I know, right? Yeah, but even so, like, five hours is, like, flew by, to be honest. I mean, we've had, like, story and stuff as well, haven't we? Which is nice. Let's change. All right, so that should have ticked that box. I just want to try and get one more gold chip, and then I will actually give them some money. To get. Oh, are you kidding me? They've actually time gated this. Oh, you are kidding me. It does say there as well. Link. Oh, this sucks so badly. Now I can't take it to max today. Well, I wasn't going to take it to max anyway, but I could take a healing to max at least. And there's absolutely no other way for me to get a chip. Now, what's on the what's in the upgrade chat? Oh, look, there's two chips. I only have to pay forty-five dollars for them. <laughs> and then they only give you like five things. Like this would not have been enough to level her up. I I saw how much stuff I bought into her. It was a lot more than that. Make a lot more. And what good are the crystals gonna do me? Like, when it, considering it's supposed to be um, in order to develop a level up. Uh, oh my god, over there, over here is currently winter. Yeah, that's nuts to think about, it just seems nuts. I always knew you were from another dimension, Pika. Uh, deep Dark Boss. Deep Dark Boss? That's... Yeah, the real boss is the time getting. Ah, challenge. Okay. Right, before I go into this, I'm going to go to the toilet real quick. Be with her.
some of the cushions out. Alright. It's so it's so bright. I think we just just my camera. Reaching the camera, it's that bright. It's probably better. I think that's better. Maybe it's too dark now. It'll be fine. Probably be fine. Um, alright, let's check out the boss. She's red. Oh, why would they put a red boss for a red... Obviously, I'm going to play with my new toy. She'll be easy. She'll be easy. Yeah, she, she would be red when I've got two red units on my team. Actually, no, red's not too bad, I guess, because it could be worse. She could be blue because red's weak against blue, right? Yeah, and actually, red's strong against green, so it makes she's so Luisa is a better healer to have than here. Seems green. Uh, yeah, red versus red is neutral, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking it was bad, but it's not. I had four hours sleep. Not that I need, not that I need a lack of sleep to excuse my stupidity. Uh, Kigari and Ginger both slap the cheeks. Don't forget serious. Serious is no joke, you know. She just almost killed her on her own. And again, they don't even have their PvE gear on right now. They've got like their PvE gear, uh, PvP gear still. Serious is weak to her. She won't be a problem, don't you worry. Not my serious, not my R5 serious now. <laughs> Please tell me we can get a gold chip here. Yeah, we probably can because I think the, the final level is normally a gold chip, isn't it? So then I can get a healing up to max, and then I can take a bit and a word. And at least any shortcomings won't be down to me not investing in her resources. Yeah, we found a use for Ginger. Last time our state got up as high as was in Italy. Last time your state was up as high as. Come to our state and admire our beautiful Pika Pigas in their natural habitat. You will see them scuffling around in the bushes with their little tails are waggling and their phones are charging. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> come visit our. Come visit the land of the Pika Pika. It is a rare Australian native creature.
Okay, she almost did now. And she did. Uh, 107,901 HP. Jeez, so long. Have you beat this final boss yet, then? Is she is she a tough one? This is the this is the final one. Wait. Yes. Okay, we better get this, and then I can actually do it. I can actually do it. I think this will be easy. I think this will be a walk. I'm not worried. But yeah, some of the event bosses, like from previous events, like I couldn't do them on the hardest stick difficulty. But what was that one? I was nuts. The off was it the office chair one? The office chair one that then went. Oh. Second Lord, yeah, I couldn't do that like final level. I don't even think I could do the second final level, can I? I think I barely did the second final. My first attack can one tap you. The mummy one. As long as she doesn't want one tap Luisa, I'll be fine. I can just bring her back from the dead. So I should be fine, right? Also, I could swap my attack buff for a defense shield. But I don't think I'll need to. Oh, I'm right. Is she almost gone? Ah, she's dead. Easy peasy, give me my gold chip. Thank you. Right. So if I get those five. Uh, Genshin 3.0 special program this week. Is it? Yeah, okay, so I have one. Excellent, so that will mean five more. We'll do what I want to do. Nice. Hi, Alicia. Eat this. And... Six, six, max. That's good. So the only uh, the only upgrades she can get now is an extra 10% damage and an extra 10% damage here. This brings her in line with everybody else, where everybody else has just got like a few extra damage buffs left on their skills. So this lines up with everybody else. So my team can do a lot more damage, by the way. Because I can get 10% damage here, 10% damage here. And all my other units still have a couple of skills left to go. It's just that I haven't got the chips right now. So Sirius can do 10% damage there, 10% damage there, so it's gonna, like, you know, everyone's pretty much got 15% damage there, so that's another thing to bear in mind, and Kigari, 15% damage there, 10% damage there, so, like, I can't wait until they're fully, fully leveled. It's a bit of a but for now, this is the moment I've certainly been waiting for. Right, let's do this. I think she's ready. I think she's ready. 
Uh, I am going to drive it to retirement, one Pika. In the special program, we get three cords for 300 Primo Gems. Oh, wow. Less than two poles. Or do you mean three cords each for 300 Primos? Meaning a total of 900. Either way, that's still like... That's still five five poles, isn't it? 900. Five, five poles, that would be. Uh, I forgot to use Defense Town. Cord one is 100 Primos. Oh, this is not even 300 each. It's 300 total. Yeah, that sounds like Genshin. That definitely sounds like Genshin. Um, okay, let's take her out of PvP. I'm curious, is she appearing anywhere? Like, is she has she appeared on the leaderboards anywhere? Is that the good one? Not yet. Where am I at right now? 82. Please, please, this would be so good. Please, let's just go crazy. Let's just do this. Alright, I don't look. I need to I need to do this and not look and not watch. Okay, she's nowhere in here yet. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know a good thing or a bad thing. Oh look at that! We're seeing some Kigaris! Kigari! Kigari! Hee <laughs> hee, look at that! I don't see Kigari in either way often. Yeah. Uh, Pika is not a tweet. You just say it in one sentence. The card 3 is one. <laughs> and let me get. Yeah, that's true. You could just put. Are you gonna just put 100 each? <laughs> I already established this anyway, vocally. I already said, oh my god, it's only that's only each. Alright, let's do this. Did we fail? We didn't fail. Just make sure everybody's set up right. Whoa, what the fuck? Whoa, what happened? Do you see this? My offensive team's being reset. And now they have weird names. So if I go into offensive squad, it says squad 61, 62, 63, 64. You have to remake your team. That's so weird. Do one at a time. I don't know what order I want them in. It depends who I'm fighting, really. Anyway, so I want a Sirius. A Figari. And an Adrian. Set as a defensive score. Alright. Oh really? They did this so your PvE and PvP teams are set to separate teams. Oh that means I'm not gonna beat because people have been playing the game wrong anymore. That means I have to win legitimately now. Uh okay. What's what gear is ability wearing? Let's just double check. So we know what Luis is wearing. Sirius is wearing the speed cleave set, that's good, I think, depending on who I'm fighting. The PvP set, that's fine. Speed? Good. Okay, they are still dressed for PvP, I thought they were. Alright, no, I always click battle! Because it's a PvP battle, or oh, whatever. Alright. Vijo! Okay, we've got a nasty Novus. Actually, we've got a very nasty Novus. We've got a nasty Lila. And these two little squirts. 
But now, even if Milvus does whatever, or Lala does whatever, or they beat me on speed, or whatever, whatever, right? I can bring people back from the dead, so what could possibly go wrong? V Joe from yesterday, cringe. Who are you on me? I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Imagine how mad I'll be if it's just like I just get splattered on every game. And I beat Vijo on speed as well. So what we can do. I don't know whether to take out Alice. Maybe we should take out Alice just so they can't do the double strat, but I feel like, well, let's get, we know we can get rid of Lila, which takes away a lot of their DPS, right? So that's a good move for a start. Now Milvis will do a double strat. The only thing I'm worried about is freezing Luisia. Off. Oh, I fucking hate this game. Right, I, I'm uninstalling. How do you uninstall Android games? This is so fucking stupid. Right, this is so stupid. Shut up. You can as well. Piss off. Oh, now we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna die on it. Go fuck yourself. Go on, go fuck yourself. Go crawl back to the fucking hole from whence you came, you piece of shit. Alright, you wanna see what you wanna see how we deal with that? I'll show you how we deal with that. You piece of shit. Fuck you. Right. Um Give you the tank healing set. Also, I could have maybe just. On my phone, I hold the icon to uninstall. Uh, Timmy with 583 speed. How do you know his speed? Um. Oh, I'm so fucking mad. So what should I do? Should I take out Alice first? Because I can't guarantee a crit against Milvus. This is the most annoying thing about Sirius is because she's fucking green. Please crit against Milvus. Let's take out... No, because all that's going to happen is where where Milvus didn't finish the job. If I take out Alice, essentially Lila's just going to replace Milvus's second go. And so they'll have, they'll have enough DPS to take me out in one go anyway. Especially if Milvus lances a defense down on everybody. So I can see where immunity might... Immunity might stop... Right, immunity might stop... Luisia from getting defense down on her. I want to see if I can crit against Milvus. He knew it. Fuck off. Oh, I hate this game. 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 I hate this, game. this game is so stupid. Fuck you. Right. I swear to God, I hate this game. Let's take out Alice and see what happens. Well, maybe I do need an immunity set because immunity would probably stop me getting defense down. It would stop them getting defense down on... But the problem is now, if Milvus goes first... Okay, now that wasn't switching that. We didn't, you didn't even land your attack down? 
Kikari, you didn't even land your attack down. Okay, you're trying to kill my Luis. Okay, you piece of shit. Now, the question is now. Now what do I do? They're not going to be able to... If I use my S3, I fully heal myself. Let's not do that. Let's just give myself a little bit of health back. So I'll do this one here. Uh, I'll also do it through the first star. Uh, Lila only does one attack, but not AoE on everybody. Yeah, but my, okay, my worry was, what I was worried about is I was worried about Milvus putting an attack down on Luisia, and then Lila coming in and finishing off Luisia. Now, to be fair though, yeah, I guess what you're saying, but then I'd still have my three DPS units anyway, right? So killing, killing Alice was the way to go here. Um, but yeah, I, I'm worried about Luisa getting wiped out so she can't protect anybody after that. But uh, it doesn't matter now, I think I've done this. Um, I do like this though, we get like 400 gores now, for some reason. We get like 400 gores in a row. See, this game is just all over the place, it makes no sense. I like, I'm happy that I won, but it's, I just wish this game actually made sense. Why did I get 400 gores in a row there? It's like, compared to the last one, it's just nuts! Like, oh, I just want it to make sense. Is what, what even happened there? Ah, oh, this game is completely round the bend. It's so crazy. And you might as well just pull a handle on a fruit machine and find out if you won or not. I'll randomly pick whether you win or not. There you go, you win. No, no, you lose. No, no, you win. No, no, you lose. It's like, well, well why? Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is a lot of bullshit. Okay, we've got an Alice, a Shira, a Leela, a Lila, how do you pronounce it, and a Milvus. Uh, Shira's just Shira anywhere. Milvus is quite nasty there. I think Milvus is the one to take out. I don't know though. Again, it's like, ah! What I'm really worried about mostly is Luisa being killed by Milvus. I just want, all I want is I dreamed of this day for so long, I just want to see. I just want to see Luisa's resurrection skill actually happen in a PvP fight, otherwise it feels like a complete waste. Um, it, that's the thing, that matters to me more than winning right now, like I just, I kind of just want to feel like Luisa was worth all of this effort and all of this waiting and all of this stuff, right? So if Luisa, if I went on to win this fight, right? Let's say, let's let, let's give you an example, right? If Luisa gets hit now, and gets wiped out, but then the rest of my team go on to win the fight anyway, I'm still gonna feel like shit because it's like, well, ah, Luisa's useless. Like I need, I want, right now, what I really want is I really wanna feel like is actually gonna make a difference to this. So the thing I'm most concerned about is Luisa being killed by Malvus. But I can't guarantee a crit off Milvus with Sirius, who will go first. So that isn't really an option. I can't take out Milvus first. I can either take out Lila or Alice. Now we saw what happens when we take out Lila first. Alice bloody grants 64 turns to Milvus, and then Milvus just destroys everybody in one go. But if I get rid of Alice, 
the last time it's like I got rid of Alice and then the game was like, oh here, just have all the gores, now Alice is dead. Uh, and they don't get a go at all. Congratulations, you won the game. And it's like, yeah, but it still doesn't feel like a turn-based game. We're like, what is going on? All right, Alice, time to die. This game will never feel like a turn-based game, will it? Lesson two days time, I say, <laughs> I know, I'm here. Every time I see the enemy Alice or Timmy go before, I just scream, so I understand. Okay, Alice is dead. Yay! Ding dong! Alice is dead! Go fuck yourself, you stupid bitch! Um, alright. <laughs> oh, take that, Milvus. See, now I just get all the goals. You kill Alice, they don't get a go! What is, is this game even working anymore? Kill Alice and they don't get. Look! Kill Alice, they don't get a go! It's like, oh, they don't get a turn now. Their whole team was Alice. Look, they don't get a go! <laughs> what is happening? Oh, they gotta go! Oh my god, they actually gotta go! That's hilarious. I'm glad you didn't pick on Luigi. Good kill, Sirius! You know why? Because now I get to do what I wanted to do all this time, which is to actually resurrect Sirius and feel good about myself. That's all I wanted. Thank you. Okay, so let's... I don't know. Go for you. Yay! That's all I wanted. Thank you, game. That's all I wanted. Now I can feel good about... See, I got a character back, and now I can go. Blah, 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 blah. I feel okay. I'm happy now. I'm, happy now. I'm sorry, game. I don't hate you. I love you really. I don't really. No, I don't love you. Really. Okay, I don't love you, but I, I, it's complicated. Okay, game. It's complicated how I feel about you. I don't even know how I feel about you. Uh, um. Every, oh, I agree with the ice mice. <laughs> Oh, the same thing every day. Like, why am I still playing this stupid fucking game? I know, it's just like... Ah, this is... Oh, maybe they're geniuses, because we're still playing, right? Like, maybe they're just geniuses. It's like having a wife that eats babies and then not being able to bring yourself to turn her into the police. It's 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 a very strange situation. Um <laughs> Okay, maybe it's not quite like that. Atari uninstall and Terry Terrafancy install. Oh god, that game's hey, believe me, I have my issues with that game as well. That game's no that game's no perfect. Hey, you know what though? This is going well. I've got a win streak of two. Oh, that made me so angry though. Okay, same bullshit. So I should be able to just take care of all these now then, shouldn't I? I'm starting to see why a defense set might not be a bad idea on her as well. But this is what it's all about. Look, it's our first tier with Luisa. We're learning. Okay, it's fine. We, we, we are, we're allowed to make mistakes. We're allowed to learn. This is how we learn. How we can build it better. But to be fair, this is Luisha's first day, and you know what? We're putting these little bitches in their place. So I would call I would call this good. This is a good day. Alright, Alice. I kill you, and they don't get a go apparently. This is this is how the game since the update, the game now says you kill Alice. <laughs> we give you all the goals. This is how much they hate Alice because the community wouldn't let them nerf her. This is something the coders have done behind, behind the players' backs. They're like, you know what? Let's see. We can see. We can see. We agree with you, player. We know we messed up with Alice. Go on, quick, kill a little bitch. They have their foot and hidden code in this game. It's like, okay, you get all the goals now. Congratulations, you killed Alice. Okay, yeah, this is what I was worried about. Now Luis just turned off. So is Kagari. This is what I was worried about. 
This is why an immunity set might be good on Louise here to stop this from happening. Okay, so take notes, class. Okay, our biggest issue right now is that Luisha and Kagari are switched off and we can avoid that by putting an immunity set on Luisha at least. Okay, I don't know whether to go for... We should probably go for Novus, right? <laughs> oh, it's going to be easy street. Ah, what am I even worried about? What am I even worried about? Oh, you walk the park and yeah, kill Sirius. See if you see if I care. I'll just bring it back to life. Fuck you. Have some of that. Ah, you think that's the end of Sirius? Do you really think you've seen the last of Sirius in this fight? Is that what you think? Oh, why are you dazed and confused, Luisia? What have I told you about smoking weed before a battle? I want you on. In fully aware. Okay, fine. Kill Makagari too. See if I can. Um, why would I tell her with four attack points? It would be funny if you uninstall Artery and then install Terra Fantasy and then reinstall Genshin. I haven't uninstalled Genshin. Why does everybody think that I uninstalled? I've never uninstalled Genshin in my life since the game came out. I just take breaks from it when I need to. And really, this is only the second time I've taken a break from it. Which I semi... Which I semi-abstained for just for Klee's banner, which let me down. Well, on one of my accounts. Come on, just let me resurrect! You know what? Yeah! Yes! Okay. This is fun. I don't get to pick who comes back. So it'll be interesting, is she gonna bring back Gary? Or is she gonna bring back Sirius? Okay. I mean, I don't mind. They're both awesome. Let's do it. We're getting... Who are we getting? Sirius! Welcome back! <laughs> oh, this is great! This is great! I like this. Let's see you win now, eh? Let's see you win now! Why don't you resurrect one of your team members and help you out, eh? Oh wait, you can't do that! Oh, that's a shame! Oh, you don't have a Luigi on your team! Oh, 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 so sad! Yes! Okay, right. It's an emotional roll across the bit. Um... You take break for Genshin, you hit it. I know, right? <laughs> you stop playing Genshin for one day. You hate the game. You want the game to fail. You are enemy of the game. <laughs> enemy of the state. Alright, I don't even need to worry about these numbers anymore because like, it doesn't even really matter, does it? I feel like. It kind of does. Okay, I think Rise is the bigger, bigger threat here. I don't know. Probably. But maybe I just want to kill Alice again. Because Ryze is probably not that bad on her own, right? Without an Alice, probably. What would you do here? Would you take out Alice or would you take out Ruri? Because Ryze is, like, Ryze is a bitch. But then again, yeah, even Ryze without a Ruri might not be too bad, but with an Alice... I should take out Alice. I should always just take out Alice because Alice is a bitch. This is just such a bitch. It's time to put her in a place. Okay, I'm going Alice. Normally I would take out Ruri, right? Because it takes out one of their DPS. But I've got Luisha now, so it doesn't even really matter if someone falls as long as Luisha doesn't fall. So I'm taking out Alice. I hope it's enough. Just, just enough. Just enough. We can attack down. Land it, Kigari, land it. Okay, you got it on Ruri, at least. Okay, we'll watch this animation play because it's pretty. Nice. 
See, this is where I would normally start effing and blinding and swearing and screaming. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to... Oh, no, this is this is worrying. No, this is why Rise is such a bitch. So, yeah, I can be cocky now and resurrect somebody, but... Luisha's, like, half dead, and Ginger's half dead, and it doesn't really help them, does it? So this is still, like, a concern. Hmm, I think Ruri might be dog shit when that was. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. Let's go for it. Rise is the biggest threat. It's just she takes a lot of killing. Can't just kill him in one hit. Yeah, Luis is nearly dead. Luis is nearly dead. Luisha's dead. What? Okay. Right, so what can we do about that? It's Riser. I need it. It is always Riser. Riser's the Riser's my biggest issue now. Maybe I need two heals when I face off against Riser. Maybe Luisia and Red and Green. Red is strong against Green, though, right? So maybe we should bring Morris. Maybe we should bring Morris. Sirius is weak to Ryza, which is green. Um, so maybe I should swap. Maybe I should give. Swap Sirius for Morris. With Morris. Speed heal. Set. Also. No, I need Sirius. To, I can't do that. I need Sirius to take out Alice. Okay, I'm glad I remembered that. I need Sirius to take out Alice. I need Sirius. Can't do that. Okay, she's still wearing stuff, it's fine. Okay, I need Sirius to take out... Alice. Ginger's kind of crap in PvP, but Ginger's strong against Ryza because she's blue. Gary keeps missing our attack down, so maybe I should swap Kugari for Morris. Okay, I'm gonna try swapping Kugari for Morris. Yeah. And let's. Ginger her power build. All right, let's see how this goes. Why I always click that button every time? There's even a big red flashing exclamation mark on the button next to it, which I completely ignore, and I click that button instead. All right, okay. Let's see what happens. 
Uh, he redownloaded out of gear to Z, but it because it was highly requested. Uh, what people were asking you to download it. They said when we fight you, we'll be thinking this week. Captain Cobb guys really with his R5 series. <laughs> I know, right? They'll be like, ah, it's beating me. <laughs> I wish I was a whale. Alright. Am I still taking out Alice first? Because I also think this would have gone very differently if I would have taken out Rui first or whatever her name is. But no, I think my biggest threat was Ryza. See, you know, Ryza's just a bitch with that whole defense style. I don't know what the hell she does. Some of her moves are like ridiculous. They're just like, oh, she's such a bitch. She's too OP. Ryza's nuts in PvP. But I think she's much worse with an Alice, because like... Yeah, we don't want to get any bonus turns or anything. Oh great, all I've got is my healers left. Well luckily, now... I can resurrect one somebody. That how did that go so badly? Like what the hell? That's what I mean. Like, how can these three units do that to my entire team? We got serious back. And yeah, now you're just gonna fucking kill her, aren't you? Oh, I hate this game so much. I don't even know who to kill. I mean, I want to kill Ryza, but I just don't know if I can kill Ryza because she's quite hard to kill. Nothing that makes Ryza so OP. I think it's better to take out Rui. <laughs> There's just no need a snotball. There's no way snotball does that much damage. This just isn't. You should throw snotballs at people anyway. That's disgusting. She's she's just such a bitch. Oh look at this. This is me doing it. It's so she deflected. How dare you deflect my crit attacks? Ryza, you really do need putting in your place, you know. Alright, I can just auto this now. This is how you do Ryza. So we swap Kagari for... Morris. Now that's more like it, but that's kind of nuts that Ryza needs two healers and one of them needs to be able to resurrect people <laughs> in order to beat her. Like what? That's so stupid. 67, I'm rank 67. Okay, so what do we got now? So we've got a Alice, a Sirius, a Grace, 
Oh, what was my strat for Sirius? I had a strat. Well, well no, actually, I, I was coming up with a new strat yesterday for Sirius. I can't remember what it was. What was that? I can't remember what it was. You see, I, I, no, I remember just saying, well, Ginger's useless when there's a Sirius, because Sirius just kills her in one hit. So I need to swap Ginger. Yeah, okay. So I need to swap Ginger for somebody else. So in that case, I'm going to put Kagari back here. What if I just put here in there? He's have like three heals. <laughs> I kind of want to do it. But I'm not going to. Um, it would be kind of funny. Alright, what set have I got on Kigari? Speed set. Yeah, let's stick with speed set. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so Ginger's useless in these fights. So let's get Morris back on the scene. Right. <laughs> this will be interesting. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Time to get revenge. I know. Well, I hope so. I feel like this could work. I think this will work. Who got killed? Wait, who got killed? Sirius got killed, okay. Oh, that doesn't really matter, does it? No one needs healing. <laughs> no one needs healing. We just need to resurrect someone, that's all. It's a small thing, we just need to bring someone back from the dead. Just a little thing, it's not a big thing. Okay, bring her back from the dead. There's little bitches in that place. Defense down. Was that you, Sirius? Was that you? Well, you did me. Okay, now we do a full heal. I think we won this. Is there any way I can lose now? It's like I was saying though, wasn't it? Once I found out a strat, because everyone's doing the same thing. That's it, it's like I just deal with them all. So as annoying as it's been, it's also going to make this like extremely easy to deal with now. Because everyone's just playing the same trick. Okay, Morris is dead, but I don't think that's too much, does it? Does it? Uh, yeah, do this just to be safe. Keep us all safe. I wish you'd done that to Luisio. Just ult her to get rid of her. Then it's just, yeah, it's easy street because it's just Timmy, isn't it? On my, it's just funny. Morris on the other TV PVP team. Now Wednesday over here. Can oh happy Wednesday. Uh, the invun invincibility thing makes it even funny when they waste their turn. I know. I know. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Why isn't this working? 
Why won't my vape machine work? Do I need a new thing in there? Don't go wash my hands. It always does this to me. It runs out. It dies on me. And it makes me waste like an entire tank of juice. It always does it right after I've refilled my tank up. Never dies like on an empty tank, which would be great, because then I could avoid that. Uh, it would be funny if having babes got you arrested, FBI or not. Okay. Okay. That'd be the first arrested for vaping. Okay, so I have a strat for all of these now, so Sirius... Sirius takes out Ginger, so we replace Ginger with Morris. I think that's what we already did. Because everyone, again, everyone's... I don't even have to change teams, because everyone's using the same teams. It makes this so easy for me. Thanks, guys. You make this so easy for me. And I kind of feel like it should be taken serious out first, but I suppose with the Luisa it doesn't really matter. Was that going to be enough? I hope so. Yes! She'll be back, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Yeah. Oh, she didn't like that. Oh, she'll be back. Ah, I don't like it. So, so what do these skills do? I should probably t learn these. Is there any point in me using these right now? Sometimes Morris on autopilot does these even when no one needs healing. Should I, I should probably read these, shouldn't I? Oh, 
But all that does is heal, right? And remove debuffs. He's doing HP really well. To an ally while also getting 50% action bar. Reducing the cooldown of all the allies' attacks by one turn. What is that S2? So I should use this anyway, shouldn't I? Did she give it to Luisia? Holy shit, she did. <laughs> we don't need healing though. Oh, I was supposed to bring back Sirius. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I forgot to bring back Sirius. That's so funny. That's actually hilarious. I actually forgot to use this skill. <laughs> Shit the bed. Calm down. It's only video game, guys. Alright, we'll bring him up now. We'll bring him up now. If we ever get another freaking war. Oh, you almost killed my Morris, you bastards. Have that! See how my series came back? Yours won't. <laughs> oh, we've got this easy. We'll just crit off you. And then we'll just ult you and we're done. And I'll go home. See you, Timmy. Thanks for showing up today. Um. Chippy is very good to be on CIA as a PI and the S2 regen heal, action bar up, skill, cooldown minus one. I hope that, oh my god, I hope that works on Luisha's resurrection. Make her OP as fuck. I think she's already kind of OP. Alright, who's this? I feel like I've got a strap for everyone now. I shouldn't get too cocky though. I'm rank 49, what the hell? I shouldn't get too cocky though. I haven't been beaten on speed yet, so I haven't seen what happens when that happens. Probably won't be good. Because if if a speed cleave can one hit me before I get a goal, then it, it like I, unless well unless Luisia can survive it, I suppose if Luisia can survive it, it could be okay. Okay, so we've got a Milva Strass. And they've got a Morris as well. Okay, um, a Milva Strat. So let's see. For Milva Strat, we just want Ginger back, don't we? I think. Do we? I think we do. I don't know, I'm kind of liking this Morris composition. But blue is supposed to be strong against red. Okay, we'll bring Ginger back. It's been working out for us so far. So we'll bring Ginger back. Uh, yeah, when I used it on Sirius, she can basically hold spam all the time. They will say Luisa is a game-breaking fix for her. Really, really. Well, they tried to do that with Alice, because Alice broke the game here, basically. Which is why I hate it so much. So we'll take care of Alice. Um, and they tried to nerf her, but there was so much backlash from the community that they had to walk it by. The only problem is if they try and nerf Luisia, there'll be loads of backlash from me. And that'll be like... That will feel like this to them. Stop it! No! Stop it! Stop it! No! Please stop it! Please don't nerf her, no! And they'll be like, yeah, he's, he's no one, just do it. Because uh, I don't have a big community behind me, so they won't care and they'll just do it either. Because no one else cares about the issue, but they will! This is what the stream's all about. <laughs> That's what you think, if you write a mean tweet, they will give up. Do you think? I don't really... Yeah, maybe the community was probably just like one angry guy in his basement. No, no, I mean, you don't like. Give, give, give back. <laughs> Alright, um. Milvus? 
Let's hit you in the face. <laughs> Don't heal her, Morris. Don't you dare heal her, Morris. She's dead now, Oh, wait, this is the easiest fight of my life? We don't even have to resurrect anyone? See, it's getting to the point now in PvP where if I don't have to resurrect anyone, they must be weak. Weakest team, weakest team I've ever seen. Oh, I think, oh, I'll never remember that she deflects Sirius's S2 attack. So she waits, she didn't get her extra goal. But she won't with deflect this. <laughs> uh, that's how high of those works. Bam some angry tweets. We have decided to cover all females. Cheats and black kids. <laughs> Sorry for the mistake. <laughs> Not wrong. I didn't even need to use my resurrection skill. Okay, we're number 48. Yeah, who've we got? Uh, Milvus again with a Lila. Probably just keep the team I've got. But what I am going to do, because there's a Lila as well, I'm just going to give... Ooh, hello. What's this? Yoink, thank you. I'm going to give... Ginger her PvP set. Let's make her a little bit less squishy. I think that's the right move. I don't know, it's kind of weak. It's now got Luisa, I really don't know. But yeah, no, because Luisa is one healer. If I'm doing it with one healer, Ginger needs the extra HP to stay alive. Yeah, that makes sense. But if I had Morris as well, then Ginger would Ginger could use the power move because she's all she's also got the support of Morris to heal her, right? So yeah. Oh wait, there's an- oh no, I was going to say there's no Alice, there is an Alice. Okay. Like, people thought Zhongli was weak, so they said buff him Mahoyo and then Mahoyo do buff him. I don't want to go from my mouth and say anything, but have you noticed that nobody's beating up speed? I don't know why though, that's worrying me, because like, what happens when that happens? Yeah, Thank god, I didn't think she was gonna die there. Attack down. Attack down Milvus, nice. Yeah, we don't care about you. She's still a bitch though. So I could use this skill now to fully heal myself. Given that I'm the only healer, I think I should probably do that. I know it's got a long cooldown on it. Because I'm not going to get enough health back off one of these skills, I don't think. And if Milvus decides to go apeshit on Luisa now, she might take her out. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Right, if there is no if there is no fallen ally, revive and make invincible for one turn as well. And this now has a cooldown of five turns. It's quite a long time. 
But does that include the reduced cooldown by one turn? Or does, is that what it currently is? Might only be four turns. When there is no target available, right. Remove all debuffs. Oh wait, do I, I don't get to pick... Oh, but yeah, I don't know though, because it's random normally. Would she necessarily give it to herself? No, it does say... I'm pretty sure it says she will choose the one with the lowest HP. When there's no target, select an, select an ally. Yeah, select an ally so I can select myself. Remove all debuffs, restore full HP while getting immunity with invincibility for it. I think that's the safe way to play this, to be honest. I'm gonna do it. Now Milvus can't kill me. And even if she kills everybody else right now, which she won't without Alice, but even if she did, I could just resurrect somebody when my cooldown resets. Double down on Milvus. Ah, we missed the defense debuff. Yeah, now Milvus is dead. Gary's gone, but don't really matter. Lana's gone now. I might go now before I get too late, so have a nice rest of the uh, stream, Captain Bye. Yeah, well, uh, thanks for stopping by, Peaks. Catch you next time. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So we can only use this for now. Should give Sirius some health back. Yeah, she's she's doing a lot more healing now since I gave her those extra chips. It's quite nice. Easy peasy. Damn, my Alice is godly. Just ate two AOE attacks and lived. <laughs> nice. Okay, this is an interesting combination. A Sirius and a Milvus. Oh, that's going to be tricky. So I normally get rid of Ginger because I know that Sirius will kill Ginger in one go. So maybe replace Ginger with Morris. Replace Kigari. I'll, I'll think I'll replace Kig. That's kind of weird. I don't know what to do. Kigari's good. Kigari's obviously good against Sirius, but Ginger's good against Milvus. But Kigari. Sirius can also, yeah, no, Sirius can also take out Kagari with a bonus, with her S2 bonus move as well. So either way, I'm going to lose a unit probably. I'm going to, I'm going to either lose a Kagari, I'm going to lose a Ginger. So I, I want Sirius. Sirius is going to beat Alice, and then I've, I've either got to have a Kagari. Ginger. And then I'll stick Morris on the team. I just don't know which one would be better. Ginger might be better because she's probably stronger against Milvus.
But then sometimes Kagari's attack down is quite nice. Especially if she gets in there before they do. Sure about this one. I think I might try Kigari. I'm gonna try Kigari. So I'm gonna swap Ginger for Morris. See how this goes. Yeah. Ready for us? Uh, the series isn't actually that good. Okay, just, she just took care of Sirius with the two girls. Just. I have seen worse Sirius. Okay, now we can attack down. Yes, we landed. Okay, we don't need to heal. This one's good, right? So we should do this. Now we want to resurrect. Spooky gets serious. Serious back. <laughs> it's just like cheating. <laughs> it's cheating. It's, it feels like so, such like cheating. Oh, don't you do. Put your chicken legs away. Get your chicken legs out of them. Okay, you defense down everybody. Good for you. Uh, let's go there, serious. Got speed debuff on her as well. Right, so now it's just Melvus. And Melvus has already done a big move, right? We don't have our resurrection anymore though. Oh, we've only got our healers left. Shit the bed. Fuck the bed. Fuck the bed. The bed. Right, quickly, Morris! Heal. I don't know, to be fair, Luisha's attacks aren't that bad. I could win this. Luisha's attacks are actually quite good. To be fair. Okay, we obviously need to get with horrible kills. They're not that good against Mildus though. Wait, do I want to do this one? Yeah, because we can, if we can advance the action bar enough to resurrect someone again. Doing a cell for. But we can just become invincible now and just keep healing. Wait for her skill to reset. Yeah, what's she gonna do? Wait for her skill to reset. Maybe I should get rid of Timmy, at least that gets rid of one unit. I'm still gonna wait for my cool attack then. Okay, heal up again. They can't kill me! It's just waiting for that reset, but now I've just gotta wait to resurrect. Should be fine. I just need to wait until I can resurrect and then it's all over for now. Can I advance this action bar? Yeah, there we go. Resurrect! Oh my god, this is so perfect. <laughs> Don't you dare do your thing on me. Okay, good. I can't guarantee a crit against her, but I might be able to land defense down on her. Or we could just kill her with one hit. Like, that would that works as well. I just don't know this now. Okay, 
Um, once I've been gotten serious, no more Yui <laughs> I'm always over good. Yeah, Sirius is great. She, I think Sirius is my favorite Yui game. Yeah, she's absolutely incredible. She's so good. She's absolutely nuts. I love her. She's great. Like, Sirius is the one I'm never disappointed in, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, 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 there's many times I've been disappointed in Kigari because she's so good that squishy. And the same goes for Ginger, really. And Ginger feels kind of useless at a lot of things, but then good at other things. But Sirius is like always good, always like it never feels like Sirius is like crap in anywhere. It's just that like I'm just outmatched or whatever. I would. What's that forty? Oh shit! Yeah, rank forty. <laughs> okay, who should we do now? Timmy, Alice, Rui, and Sirius. Okay, we could do a serious build where we just swap Ginger for Morris, which we've already done, so we can just keep the team we've got right now for this one. We can just go in as we are. Yeah, these aren't particularly strong anywhere, really. I'm just worried what happens when someone finally beats me on speed. It hasn't actually happened yet, which is kind of weird. Are people like substituting speed for something else? Oh, I had to open my big fucking mouth. Well, okay, we'll see what happens. I've been curious what would happen when they beat me on speed. As long as Luigi doesn't die, I should be okay. Okay. I can just do what I did at the end of that last fight, right? So I fully heal. Okay, Resurrect. Might be good if we bring back Morris. Okay, we got Sirius. I'll take a Sirius. Now we can get rid of Alice, I guess. Oh, this could be bad. That's a strong Alice as well. That's a very strong Alice. Okay, this person must be a good female. That's a very strong Alice. I don't think this will be enough to kill Alice, will it? Oh, she's hanging on, I knew she would. This is bad. This is bad. This is so bad. Oh, she's still alive. Ow. Oh no! This is so bad! Oh, fuck you! Okay, I don't know what I can do about this. Okay, there Alice is really well built. A lot of it's RNG though, it depends who she resurrects. Damn it, that was a close fight. Just replay it now. Just a Show me the match. I mean, Kigari didn't do shit, but it's because everybody got one shot. Morris survived because she's got a good tank set. The only reason Kigari didn't do shit is because Loisha re resurrected Sirius. It wasn't that wasn't Kigari. Kigari wasn't weak in that fight. She just didn't get a chance to get resurrected.
And Kigari might have changed that actually. Kigari might have changed that completely because she could have landed attack down, which could have given me a few extra moves just to get my team back together. Well, I wonder if. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Would hearing be better than Morris? Come on, I like, I like Morris's advanced action bar. I think that's pretty good. But then again, like, what's the rush? Who cares? They can't heal, I can. They can't resurrect, I can. Time is on my side. It's not about how fast they kill me, it's about survival. So, let me think. Nice. Hearing, yeah, hearing probably would do better because she's green and they've got two blue. So she's only really weak to Timmy. Timmy can't do shit. And advancing the action bar doesn't really matter. Because I can just wait it out. In fact, it's probably better if I like... As long as I have a healer to keep us both alive. Yeah, so I'm going to swap Morris for hearing. Oh no! Oh shit, bed. Oh yeah, she's gonna need heal speed because, yeah, Louise, she's got the heal tank set. That makes sense. Okay. What? There. Okay. Let's see how this goes. I feel like this might go a lot better. Oops, I have 411 energies. What the hell? You can't take the Woody, you know. Louise, you probably can. Okay, this is the same fight. This time we beat them on speed. What the hell? This is what I mean. There's got to be some RNG in there. This time I beat them on speed. I'm using the same... Well, I'm not using exactly the same team. But it's all the same gear. The only thing I did is I swapped here and from Morris, really. And this time I beat them on speed. So this should go very differently anyway. But like, what the hell, right? It's kind of weird. I don't know, I'm tempted to take out their Rui first because that's one of their damage dealers right there. I don't think it matters. I think now that I've now that I get to make the first move, I think I've just I'm just won. Really, this comes down to who goes first. However, having said that, serious with Alice bonus scores is going to be pretty nuts, and that is a strong series. I'm going to take out Alice. I can't, I can't do Alice in one move either because she's too well built. Okay, I'm going to take her out because I can do her in one move. I'd like to take out Alice first, but Alice is too well built to take out with Sirius's S2 and S3. She has the tiniest amount of health left. And then she still gets to do all the shit anywhere. So at least this is one less DPS coming at me. So that's why I'm doing this. Right, I'm glad Sirius took two moves off her to kill her, because now everybody else is safe, so that's good. Higari can do an attack down. Yes, we landed on Sirius, perfect. Now, Kirin can do a potato gun. It really is a friggin' potato gun as well, isn't it? Okay, Kigari can do a roll on Sirius, I guess. It's almost enough to kill her. Luisha doesn't need to... Oh, wait, we could resurrect. I would win this probably without, but yeah, I guess we should probably resurrect Sirius, or is that a bad idea? She's just going to be killed again. 
But I suppose even if she does get killed again, she becomes a target for Kill It Keeps Everybody Else safe. Yeah, I'll resurrect her. I'd probably win this either way. Again, I think because I got the first go, I was going to win anyway. Because this is such an even fight that, like, whoever gets to go first essentially gets more, more goals, right? I don't need to heal. I can just shoot Sirius in the face. Oh, she's hanging on by the skin of her cat ears. Okay, now all they've got is Alice and Timmy. So it doesn't matter anymore. I don't think I even needed Hiru in there, to be honest. That was kind of weird, yeah, because because I went first, I didn't even use a Hiru and Heal skill at all. That could have been anybody. That could have been a... It could have been a lamppost stood there and it wouldn't have been... Well, that's pretty much what it's like playing with Hiru sometimes. It could have been a lamppost stood there in a place and it wouldn't have made any difference. Okay. <laughs> Can I just say PvP rating S? No, she's high enough. Luis is more than an S. At least for the way I've been playing, she's like she's got me to 39 right now. I wouldn't have been able to do any. I wouldn't have won some of these fights without Luis. That's all I wanted to know. That's that's pretty much what I needed to know. So I'm going about that. Uh. I got any fights left in me? I must do because it would have told me I already went out. Yeah, this is my last fight, so okay, this makes sense. So we've got an Alice, a Timmy, and a Della. A Ruri. So most of the strength's probably coming from Ruri. I mean, Della's just a different beast that I'm not 100% sure how to deal with, and she's quite tanky anyway. So, I mean, normally I'll take out Ruri first. See, again, like the last fight, depends how strong Alice is, but this Alice looks weaker, so it's probably better to take out Alice. So I'll take out Alice first, and then I'm left with a red, a green, and a blue, so it's pretty balanced anywhere. I don't need another healer for this. I think I can stick Ginger back on. I think I can stick Ginger back in. But then what's the point? Because the, um, the only one that's going to be left for me to worry about is Della. And Blue's weak against Green anyway. Right, what I'm going to do, because I like Morris's action bar thing. I'm going to put, I'm going to take out here and I'm going to put Morris back in. Morris works quite well with Luisa actually, because she can literally, literally reduce that cooldown. Which is nuts. Yeah, god, now I know that about Morris. Morris is definitely the best hero in the game. Why is she so good? <laughs> so weird. Hey, let's give everyone the best unit in the game. Okay. Uh, shit. No one's buying any healers. Why not? Uh, what about Morris? Why don't you put her on a banner? Oh, we gave her away for free. You what? What? I didn't mean Morris. I meant... Margarita, or whatever she's called. Margot. Uh, okay, so we want Morris back in, and we're going to give Morris the heal. Speed set. Apparently she's already in. Yeah, she is. All right. Last fight. Can we win? I hope so. I think so.
Okay, we beat them on speed. I'll take out Alice first. Yeah, I should be able to take this Alice out in one go. Just. Okay, attack down. This is why I like Higari, but she missed. But attack down is so helpful. But she did, she did freaking miss it though, didn't she? Okay, we're back to just our two healers, but again, we're just waiting it out. It's easy. Let's do a full heal. This is such a great, this is such a great strat. It's so good. All right. I don't know if I'm ready to resurrect. Am I ready to resurrect? Probably. I should probably do it. The sooner we resurrect, the sooner we get to resurrect again. I guess. Okay, now we should get rid of this one. Ruri. Just got an attack boost right now. Okay. Okay. Um. I guess I want to advance Luisia's action bar. Because that makes sense. Uh, but she missed a go because she's stunned right now, but that's fine. So we can do this. And then we can ult. Yeah, There's no way I can lose right now, is there? Yeah, there's no way I can lose. Okay, we got defense down on him as well. Sirius is going again, it doesn't really matter. You can't even kill one of my healers. Okay, now we can fully heal. <laughs> Healer is the new meta. I always believe in heals. Yep. Okay. Uh, advance Luisha's action bar. Let's get somebody else back. This is so fun. Alright, let's get him back. It's so good. This is what I dreamed of. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's literally the best thing ever. Oh, yes. Oh, Luisha, you're the, you're the best. You are so good. Ooh, hentai. <laughs> All right, it's time to watch Timmy die and suffer. Oh yeah. And then just to take the piss, Morris gives everybody a full, a full heal. Not that we need it. Oh, that is so funny. That's so good. Yeah, I think I don't think speed's as important for Luisia in PvP. Because like you can just wait it out, especially if you give yourself if you if you bring in another healer to help support her and keep her alive. Then you can literally just bide your time. It doesn't even matter if you lose units, she just brings them back. It's great. This is exactly what I wanted to do when I first started playing the game, which was to build like the long haul build to, to make them just survive anything. And I can finally do that now with Luisa. Couldn't really do it before. So I'm starting to see the value in building, giving her a two piece defense set as well would also kind of make sense. Yeah, I don't think counter engine is really helping her here in PvP. So I, I might want to rethink her build. So I think the two sets for her would be immunity, speed and immunity, or speed and defense. 
immunity for fighting things like Nolus because she can you can avoid a freeze and defense for everything else basically I would say or HP would also work Um, damn this game really put a lot of love into sounds and animation. Yeah, it's oh, it's really fun. Uh, it's also infuriating at times. But hey, I'm fine. Hey, look, I'm finally ranked 36. So we did it. We beat everybody's. It's just a matter of time now. I just gotta work more up this. We can beat all of these now, I think. <laughs> I mean, even with. I know that's a, that sounds like a big headed thing to say. No, I think we can, because like, even when they beat me on speed, Luisha's so good. But you know what I should do is I should, I should avoid playing PvP until the last day of her banner, or the day after the last day of her banner, uh, and then rise to the top when it's too late to get her. Because if I rise to the top now, people are going to be like, hmm. So this Luisia is beating us all, is she? Yes, we better get her. And then everybody's got her. <laughs> I don't want people to know how good she is. Clearly they haven't a clue. Clearly no one's interested. So maybe I should wait until the bat is gone before I let them know how awesome she is and then be like, oh, what a shame. Didn't you get yourself a Luisia? Shame the banner ended, isn't it? Yeah, I just kind of decided not to play PvP for the whole point of a banner, just so that you didn't see your eyes on top. Yeah, I kind of don't want everyone to know. <laughs> I want to have this advantage and keep it. Now, I don't mind, because like I suppose teams that get teams with Luisa on them, it's going to be an interesting fight, to say the least. And at least it's not like the speed cleave where it's like, you know, one hit and it's all over. At least it's an actual, you know, back and forth, which is what I always wanted from this game which stupid Alice stole from me because she broke the game. But I think Luisa breaks the game as well, but in a very different way, so it's... Maybe that's just what this is, you know? Let's find new ways to break the game and see what happens. Yay! Uh, that's kind of what this game is, but it's... Wow! Today was fun. Luisa was fun. It's been interesting. It's been fun. But I need to go get some food. Um... So I'm probably going to leave it there, get some food, try and get rid of this headache. It's probably a lack of sleep headache, I like four hours sleep. But yeah, no, she's awesome, she's nuts, I think she's great. Um, and I've got lots of event farming, um, lots still to do. But yeah, I mean, there you go, like, just, I mean, I won every... I won every battle eventually, like I didn't win every battle because I had to find ways to deal with different strats and things, which is fine, like I like doing that. Like you learn from your mistakes, that's how you grow. Um, so I'm really enjoying this game now. And all that, all of that waiting was and, and saving was totally worth it. Because um, yeah, this is great. It's like I finally feel like this is a game that I'm playing like an actual game with some good stress but i was starting to figure stuff out anyway right i was starting to find ways to beat that strat anywhere uh so now you throw Luisa in there as well and it's like okay this is getting really interesting uh enjoy i will try to get rust twitch drops in 10 minutes see ya ah okay well enjoy um yeah, I've never played Rust, but I played a game recently that was uh, apparently very much like Rust. It was like an Animal Crossing with like guns. I can't remember what it was called now. Vinterland or something, I think it was called. Yeah, and people were saying, oh, this is just like Rust apparently, so I was like, ah, oh, interesting. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I might stream. I might stream this again when I've had some food, because I'll still be playing it. Or I might just run it in the background and I'll chill out. I'm not sure how fun it would be to watch me because uh, but mainly I'm probably just going to be looping a lot of stuff I'm probably just going to be looping trying to get some gear for Luisa uh, looping the event to you know get, farm up the rewards and stuff but my god yeah that was fun <laughs> PvP is very fun now because uh, <laughs> it seems like this 
not a whole lot I can't deal with now, <laughs> and that's kind of what I was thinking. But yeah, I, I will admit, like, Luisha's weakness is she's not a very good healer. She's not a very good general healer, and I was worried about this. I thought, hmm, how am I going to deal with, like, general healing, though? Because it doesn't sound like she's going to be giving enough healing to everybody with her S1 and her S2. And if she only heals a single target with her S3, which she does, then pe like, people are going to constantly die. And I guess that's why they have a resurrection skill for her. So yeah, I was kind of like... I was worried about that. But I suppose, yeah, I think it's just figuring out, okay, when does she need a little extra help? Because when she needs an ex a little bit of extra help, if you just shot on another healer on the team, it's fine. It's kind of invincible. Um, so yeah, it's not. It actually works out pretty good. I just I don't think a lot of people want to like. I think it's to play the game that way. I don't know. I have seen people. I did see people on the leaderboard re recently with a couple of heels on. That, so I thought it was interesting. But that was like a week or so ago. Now it's back to speed cleaves again. But I was seeing a couple of healers. In some of these teams before, like a Morris and a Heron. So I remember pointing it out and going, oh my god, that's got two healers. Yeah, there you go, like Morris and Green, there's two healers on this team. Morris and Heron, two healers on this team. It's nice to see healers. I think healers are starting to take over. We're getting a new healer meta, I'm telling you now. Yeah, there's only a couple of teams running that way, but yeah, there's a couple at the top of the leaderboard running that way, and I'm not surprised. There you go, number one right now has two healers, Cream and Hearing. Number one has two healers right now. So, yep, it's no joke. A couple of strong DPS and a couple of healers, pretty much unstoppable. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Um, try and go on RP service to relax and learn it in your own pace. Yes, I will, I will. I'm, I'm going to take my time with Luisha. I learned a lot more there from PvP. Definitely. But yeah, you've got to play them for a while, I think, to really understand exactly, you know, how to tweak things. But good, she's, she's, she's doing great. She's doing great with just hearing's old speed set on. There's a few... There's a few things I need to tweak here and there. Um, but yeah, she's doing like... And I talk about throwing her in at the deep end. Jesus. We just threw in from like... Where did I start today? 60 something on the leaderboard. And worked over up to 37. And she has not let me down. She has not let me down. Um, so that's good. Interesting. Uh, maybe someone comes by. If you come back, you can show off Luisha. <laughs> yeah. Shh. We have to. We have to keep it a secret. Nobody must know how good she is. We can tell everyone at the day after her banner ends. <laughs> then, then we can show her off. <laughs> and when everyone's like, "Oh, how do I get one of those?" Ah, oh, you just missed her. Oh, sorry. Did I forget to mention it during the whole banner life? Oh. My bad, sorry. I was uh, distracted by Tower of Fantasy. So I've even got an excuse, I can say I was distracted by Tower of Fantasy, so I forgot to tell, forgot to tell you all. No, I mean, anyone who watches me obviously will know. I've been, I have been advocating for this girl since I read her skills. That first day, I, immediately I was like, oh my god, I need this unit right now. Um, yeah, it just sounded nuts. And it is, so it's cool. But yeah, as for everybody else uh, above me on the leaderboard, they don't need to know. They don't need to know until the banner's gone how good she is. Uh, and we'll keep it that way, I think. Be good. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how long it takes before I fight another team with another Loisha on it. That'll be weird. My first fight against another Loisha. That'll be an unpredictable fight.
All right, I'm gonna go get some food, so I will leave it there for now. And yeah, until my next stream, thank you very much. My name is Captain Copium, at ease, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.